Oh my gosh! Wait, are we going? Sorry. Wait, does this work yet? Oh! I need to get away from is this, this video. Working? I told you it was bad. No, okay, Ash I said we need to get away from the video, so I guess we're done with the stream tonight. <laughs> this was a fun stream. Does oh, this is not work? She's just still... over the bit to the point where she's. We like, can hear you, Rando. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. It does work. It does. We can hear you. Oh, wow! <gasps> awesome. Hoggies. I, I need to get off of Reddit. That's what's happening. Like. First yeah, it get was out a, of Reddit! What are you doing? Go away! First it was a praying mantis eating a lizard, and then yeah, I they saw do that. a teaser that would that would make me be totally distracted during the game. So. And Aorna collapses. Aorna just dies. It's like her brain fell out of her head. Again. I get- I- my brain never fell out of my well, head. I was referring to the dying part. Okay. <laughs> like the first time. Rude. Yeah. Rude, Sawyer. Okay. Alright. Anyways. Um, we'll go oh ahead and jump- Oh my gosh, I just read what he wrote you! <laughs> You're so mean! Rude. <laughs> Uh, where we left off, the party had um, began or uh, did successfully set sail um, on the Sea of Swords. Let me move you to the map. Map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Um, they set sail on the Sea of Swords um, on, upon the Arvon of the Tide ship. Um, on the way, they encountered some Sahagan, uh, fighting them off. It's nothing too nothing too harrowing. The party couldn't handle. Um, but eventually the party did successfully find their way, um, to Lin Armal, which is the, um, Cloud Giant Fortress, uh, or the, the Cloud Giant home of the, uh, the, the Cloud Giant Duke Countess Sensory. Um, upon arrival, they were, um, guided by another Cloud Giant whose name you're, you guys never learned. Um... And he led you to the throne room within Lin Armal, where you all had a tense conversation with Countess Sensory, um, and sort of offered forth the idea that potentially Countess Sensory should be in charge of trying to rein the other giants in, um, in hopes that it'll prove to Anum that Cloud Giants are superior and should be put on top of the ordining, um, dethroning the Storm Giants. Countess Sensory was intrigued by this plan um, and told you all to return in the evening after she has had time to counsel um, and discuss with her uh, compatriots. And uh, yeah, you guys were sent back to the Arbon of the Tide. And uh, yeah, what do you guys do? So, uh, what was all that about? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't know. Cool, cool, cool. It, it was real tense. I don't remember much of it because I was a little, very hyper-focused. I, I can't believe we survived that. That's partially why I don't remember it. I was pretty well prepared for everything to go horribly, and then it didn't. <laughs> And then it didn't. I just. <sighs> she was real resistant to the babysitting until she wasn't. What? Well, that's kind what? of her thing. Is she she wants to be on top, but she didn't want any of the stuff from being on top. Until we pointed out that like that's kind of part of being on top. Yeah. Now she seems semi all right with it. All right, well, I'm just gonna, you know, follow your guys' lead because I, yeah, I'm just here to make sure we get our money. That's fair. Eric will actually come up to you guys um, and will inquire as to. He never exactly asked why you guys are here. And no oh. one, no one ever really discussed it. You guys are just like we're on an adventure, and he's like, "All right." 
But as you saw, we flew up there. I'm pointing up to the fortress and going, there are cloud giants up there. Uh, we need a giant fancy bird. shell from them. So that way we could talk to the, go to the court of the storm giants, I think. Right? My yeah, we need up. to talk to the storm, the storm king. Yeah, and kind of figure out what's going on because giant hierarchy is a little funky. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it's been quite interesting. We had a giant friend for a while. I don't that know where he went. Been helpful. To have like giants Probably. talk to giants. Yeah. But granted, he was a frost giant, and based off her disposition to the other giants, she probably wouldn't have liked him very much. Yeah. So, now what's the plan? We were told to wait till evening, and then check back. Which is a little bit inconvenient, but yeah. Yeah, it is, but... Um, it's just hope no. a ton of Sahagin don't come back, right? <laughs> I mean, your crew handled it pretty well. Half of them are dead. <laughs> but are half, half of them, them are still alive. I thought that didn't a lot of them die. Like four of them died. Uh, two of them died. Oh, okay. Okay. Two of them died. But still. But again, that's still the rest of you still here. It wasn't like oh, it was a massive hit. I mean, they were still people. Yeah. They're not just, like, some disposable characters in your guys' story. They have lives. They have families. <laughs> but I didn't know their lives and families, so it doesn't affect me personally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to choke on my little meta here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good time, Batman? <laughs> 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 He's not real. <laughs> Sorry. To his family. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> you ever just had the realization that everybody you meet has lives completely separate from your own? Yeah, I'm trying you're to just think a about it makes me depressed. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, there are real people surrounding me. <laughs> yeah, it makes me a little existential. That's why I just chill here on the sea and just think, hmm, there's stuff down below me that I don't know exists. There's stuff down below us that nobody knows exists. Uh, yeah, less so. Interesting. Do you know, when, you've been, when you've been around the sea as much as, you, as, as we have, you get a little numb to it. I suppose. Do you know if we're above an underwater city? Um, he sort of like looks up and thinks, no, ne nearest one is a few days travel south. No, oh, okay. I was about to insight check him. You jerk. Stop sending me that stuff. Get me out of He just sent me another picture related to that thing he posted in the chat. Um. <laughs> What was I saying? You were gonna inside check, check, inside him. check him. Yeah, I'm inside checking him. Um, okay, roll an inside check. Oh wait, no, I wasn't actually gonna, sorry. I was going oh, okay. to inside check him, but then the detail he gave about days away made me go, oh, okay. What, you mean you don't want to contest his plus 17 to deception? Oof. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, thanks. I will. <laughs> the guy was no uh, <laughs> But I am actually pretty good at insight. I'm proficient in it. Where did you get proficiency there in insight? There you go. <laughs> From being a guild artisan. Oh my gosh. I'm a businessman making business decisions. <laughs> so I roll an eight. <laughs> He's I'll a businessman was... with a business plan, everybody. I'll be subtle, super good at it. <laughs> That's why you lost your, your business. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so there's a reason I don't have a business anymore. <laughs> I thought you did. I thought you just left it for now. Well, I mean, like, the building's still there. Just stop paying rent. But yeah, I'm not just like, to hell. anymore. That was, like, 15 years ago. Yeah, I was 17 when I went to hell. Oh, my bad. I opened Gosh. the shop afterwards. 
He only went to hell as a teenager. I mean, basically an adult. I was in the monastery by then. I was on this ship. <clears throat> I was... Hmm. I don't remember what I was doing at 17. Oh no, not at 17. Oh, at 17. What were you doing 15, 15 years, years ago? ago. Oh, yeah. 15 years ago? Yeah, oh, right I don't here. know what I was doing 15 years ago. Not when I was 17, though. I was yeah, like... a long like, time ago. It's a little, uh... I was like seven. As well. well... You were seven? 15 years ago? No, no. I was like... Oh, oh you're you, a little baby? You, you, you oh, a baby boy. Also, it's a baby too. Yeah, it's, it's so oh, young. JJ. <laughs> <laughs> you little baby man. You little baby boy. You baby Jump boy. Jump off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> We're the cute baby blues. I just do. Have you guys seen IT Crowd? No, uh, a little yes. bit. Okay, oh, yeah. I'll send a gif of what I. Oh, the where he jumps out the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or do you guys have anything in particular you'd like to do while you're just chilling here? Where are we again? Uh, you are in the middle of the ocean. Try not are there to blow any up. stores around? Yeah. No. Underwater in the secret underwater city. Sure. That th there are some there are some stores underwater, two days south. Hey, you never know. You could that's, find that's a Fey crossing and maybe find a store in the Fey Wild. But good luck getting back. Did we determine how many? Um, like, so I have, I only have, like, ten arrows on me? Yeah. I think so. In my quiver? Yeah. I right, believe so, so yes. I Um. I have 992 ball bearings. <laughs> oh, sweet. 992? Yes. Yeah. So many ball bearings. Because he got a bag of a thousand with his Dungeoneer's pack. No, I bought this. Oh. oh. About a thousand in uh, Phandalin. And he's used eight of them over the past seven months. <laughs> are you like in, a year almost? Are like. they in the bag of holding? No, they're just on me. That's so many. Ha That's a lot of ball bearings. A Isn't they're that small. a lot of weight? I mean, they're pretty. They're like the little balls. They're not the actual bearings. Well, right, but isn't yeah, that like a, a lot of pounds. weight? No, no, they don't oh. weigh that much. Yeah. Ball bearings come in many sizes, so yeah, I don't... I'm imagining they're the pretty small ones. Weighs two pounds. Yeah. Yeah. And I am swole as fuck, fuck, dude. Absolutely. You are Iron Man. Spot on. I said it would weigh. He, a couple he does pounds. have a 23 strength. Yeah, man is man is a uh, lift and weight. Swole. Swole AF. I mean, it's Just purely the armor, but... Weights, yeah, it's... Well, so I look and or ask around just for like, <clears throat> like extra pieces of... Well, I first start by seeing if anyone has arrows that they want to sell. I'll trade you. Uh, trade me? Yeah, you have anything fun? What would you like? I don't know what you got. I start ruffling through pockets. Uh, I have an unused prophylactic. Um... <laughs> My EpiPen. My, yeah, my, my EpiPen, my seven-year-old EpiPen. <laughs> it's I only expired just in case. about three years ago. You got what? What? What'd you say? My EpiPen, it only expired about oh, three years okay. ago. He's allergic to shellfish, so... I got a, my scroll of pedigree. Let's see. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to look in my pockets. I named this one Roll20. I've almost got it open. It's it's password protected. Uh, you have so many keep... ties on that pocket. Listen, you can't be too careful with your spellcrafting, casting components, and such. That's, I guess that's fair. But would you like a? I mean, like I don't know how useful it might be to you, but would you like a scroll of pedigree? I'm gonna look at it. It is this a scroll of pedigree? And eh, just to strip proof that I am noble birth. Yeah, no, that's boring. <laughs> Do you want a glowing I mean, crowbar? It okay. might be it might be useful for your job stuffs. If a you glowing crowbar? To... Yeah. Oh well, that too. When that did we was... ever have a? When did we get a glowing crowbar? Why is it I glow? I just made it. You because just I made it glow. Made it. Is it gonna stay glowing, or are you, like as soon as I take it, are you gonna make it stop glowing? 
I mean, I'll keep it glowing for as long as I can remember to keep it glowing. Mm. No. He's really good at remembering things. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor kid lost his talking ball bearing. <laughs> Rip. Yeah. Some just kid back in Fandolin was just like, yeah, this is my tre most treasured possession. It yeah, speaks to me. They're waiting. Oh. <laughs> Dad, I don't hear the voices anymore. He's like, finally. <laughs> or, uh, if you got like a picture of something that you could just really, really describe to me, I can just like make something have that picture on it. That's got cool. Yeah. Oh, I've got this uh, this nice little knife here if you want to trade for some of your arrows. What's special about this knife? It's a knife. They're just Take arrows. arrows in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm realizing I've got a whole bunch of torches on me. I'm good. Oh my okay. gosh, just animates a crap ton of torches and just bludgeons things to death. <laughs> <laughs> Would torches Again, count I'm... as tiny still? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. I mean, I, I Rando, like that. I all, all tiny. All you would have to do is just throw coins out. Like, they. That's, that's why I offered ball you. bearings. Like, you I know, but I like the idea of something at least as big as an arrow or a torch. Smacking rather than a coin. Or... What if I make your torches afraid? <laughs> okay. What? Like frayed torches? That would no, suck. They'd probably burn afraid. faster. Afraid. Oh. Scared. Like, Baby like scared. your arrows were. Well, yeah, scared. I mean, that would suck. I mean, but you could make coins afraid too if they were animated. That doesn't. I mean, different. though, also, I do have like these 12 crossbow bolts that I've just kind of had. Oh, do you need them? No. <laughs> I put out my hand. I give you my 12 crossbow bolts. I throw them in my quiver. Thank you! I have now officially gotten rid of all of my crossbow bolts from He's the very beginning. He is free. <laughs> Finally, right. after 10,000 years! Now I have, now I have a lot of things. <laughs> Just like that Uno game last night. I'm happy. Oh my gosh. I was still mad that you won, oh. but deep down, I think we were all happy it was over. We all got down to like two cards, and then we all like drew eight. Like, like three are times. We, are we like sleeping for a night, and then, no, and then going into okay. I think we have to... Yeah, how are we getting back up? Because we had to use a lot of spell slots to get up there. I guess we gotta use another spell slot to get back up now, don't we? I don't know if I can do... Wait, did I use a spell it. slot to get up there? Yes. Not, yeah. Did I have to do my fly? Okay, fourth I didn't mark that Fourth level, off. I think. I did it at fourth level, why did I... Oh, because I helped other people fly. Yeah. You helped, uh... You, I think. No, Isara. no you helped Cast Fly. Isara, he helped Isara. Oh, yeah. If I only helped Isara, then I... That's third level still. No, fourth. <laughs> no, fourth, because oh. fly is one person, and then plus an additional person per... I thought... Level. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we can Third level it. is just Fourth level you. higher, you can target an additional. Oh, okay, yeah, so I did it. Fourth, fourth level is just you. Or third so level you have is to do it. Why... One person. I don't know why I thought third level was me and one other. So you had to do another fourth level to get back down. And now. Oh, I had to do another fourth level to get back down? Oh, yeah, this cause sucks. We had... Yeah, because we had to, you know, get back somehow. Yeah, so all my fourth level slots will be gone by the time we get back. Awesome. Yep. Well, actually, that's not true. We'll I'll be able to short rest. Actually, before no, we get back no, because up, right? I think the problem is is that I so the way I did it, we get I cast fly from my loot, but that's only once a day, or once a long rest. So I can't do it to get back down. So I actually need help getting back down at this point. So that would actually be a 5th level spot for fly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I did one, and then I did a 5th level to get down. Oh. Okay. And then we need another 5th so, level to get back up. Does anyone know Featherfall? Yeah. Uh, um, no. I'd do tomorrow. How does my short... My short rest will give me half my... 
half my wizard level in spell levels or something? It should yeah. say on your spell sheet, like, like under yeah. under whatever. Uh, is equal to less or half, less equal to or less than half your wizard. Oh, cool! So I'll get my fifth back and then use it again to go back up there. So I still have one fifth when we get up there. Okay, sweet, cool. So we're all good. We, we made it back up. Everything's fine. We can get back up. Yes. Though we don't have revivify, so good luck. Don't die. Why don't we have revivify? Because I need another fifth, uh, third level to go up. <laughs> oh. Okay. So anyone else have anything fine. burning? that they would like to do in the next, I don't know, few hours? Uh, no. Alright, I'll have, I'll have short rested for an hour of that, so... I would assume so. So eventually, you guys can uh, wait. The sun starts to go down, you realize, you figure, okay, well, we can probably head up about now, and you guys... Wait, go. quick question. Do quick I answer. Do we still have the 16 key points? 16 key points? What? Not key points. Temporary hit yes. points. Yes. I don't know, I don't I don't know where you got those, so me. I don't know. Inspiring. Until you finish. Oh, no, no, no. Until that. you finish a. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, temporary hit yeah, points yeah, yeah. last until you finish a long rest or until you lose them. Yeah. Gotcha. So everyone has 16 temporary hit points, except for Stubbs, who said, no, thank you. I hear yeah, your inspiring speech. Uh, no. You're, you're not inspiring. I'm enough. not inspired. Yeah. Oh, that's just so inspiring. So great. So oh, that's wonderful. I give like a golf clap at the end of it. Okay. <laughs> so you guys can eventually go back up to Linar Mall. Um, and up there, you are regreeted by Chrysara. Uh, not, you don't know his name? The Dakar Giant. No, um, you got it. You got in, it. In the courtyard. And he again uh, takes you back to the. Uh, throne room of Countess Sensory. This time, when you enter, there are two cloud giants on either side of the room. Oh, there are more of them now. Oh, there's two of them. They're this is getting out of hand. No, there's two of them! <coughs> oh. oh, hello there. Hello. Howdy, neighbor. Howdy, neighbor. <laughs> Greetings. Hello again, small folk. Large folk. Hello. So, so I took what you said, and I thought long and hard about it, discussed it here with Chris Aro, uh, and um, it's a great plan, really. You know, taking command of the lower giants, and, and showing on them that, you know, we are the, the true leaders. Um, unfortunately, I guess, not really unfortunately for me, more unfortunately for you, I don't need your help in that. Mm -hmm. And about, about when she says that, the two cloud giants sort of stand up straighter, um, and sort of like draw their great, their great swords. And unfortunately, um, if I let you go, you are a loose end. Hmm. And I don't appreciate loose ends. Counterpoint. We are not loose ends. We don't even know what we're doing half the time. <laughs> and I draw that my sword. That is even more dangerous of a loose end. As he, as he draws his sword, I cast Fireball. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> got sensory stat block up. Give me a second. It's time for violence. <laughs> I'm great. Violence. Love violence. Don't you just love the smell of violence in the morning? Oh, it's better than the smell of my vomit. So. Sure, let's smell your mom. Oh, God. God, that's what she said. I was like, that's a really weird thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird for you to bring up. Better than the smell of my mom in the morning. It's like, I. Uh, oh, I. Great. Great. Cool. Thanks, I guess. 
What? <laughs> Alright, I need everyone to roll initiative. Violence! Um, no, I refuse. Well, Seth Counter falls dead. Counterpoint, oh. I leave. Oh, I no! rolled another eight! <sighs> okay, I'll roll. I'll yeah. play the game. Oh, <clears throat> dang it. That... That fireball is going to be at sixth I level can't remember. as well. Did, the initiative. Does anyone remember uh, oh. which which season oh. I said I was? Oh, nope. was I autumn? I think you were winter. I think you were uh, no. No. Yeah, you're winter. Finally you're not edgy. Winter. I thought you were finally not edgy. Which one was that? I mean, I'm never not edgy. It's uh, Ashley we're talking about. She's never <laughs> not edgy. <laughs> edgy always. Gosh dang it, where is- Oh, I'm is... feeling hopeful for my next character. Uh, where is Sansuri's <clears throat> freaking stat block? Oh, jeez, I can't remember. Was I spring? I'm almost positive you are winter. It was nice knowing you all. I love you. Let's Bye? get ready for Ghosts of Saltmarsh. <laughs> not the next campaign we're playing, not, but okay. Not the next campaign we're playing. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm down to bring back Arva. Uh, uh, we what, could! What's it called again? With, weathered Beyond the Witches. Yes. Witch Beyond the Weather Light. Yes. Witch, weathered, weathered Behind the Witch Light. Weathered Witch. Beyond that's, the Weather Vein. Wait. Which is about Beyond no. the Wild Light. Wild, no. Wild, wild Beyond the Witch Light. There you go. There you go. We <laughs> <I> got there. <laughs> <laughs> we made it, everybody. It's okay. I called it Witch Beyond the Wild Light for like months when it first what? came out. I called it Witch Beyond the Wild Light for months. Yeah, it took her a hot second to remember what it's freaking called. Which is before the Wild Light. Yes. It's just the Displacer Beast book. My blurry it's... kitties. You and Displacer Beasts, man. They're so cute. They're pretty awesome. They're terrifying. They are adorable. Thank you, JJ. I just want to... You know, Someone Toby. understands my plight. They're so creepy! Like, their tails are basically like squid tentacles! That's those not aren't their tails. their tails, those are their tentacles. They have tails, okay. they're just normal. My case stands. Okay, Seth and Stubbs, what are your guys' dex modifiers? Uh, There's a three way tie for 12. Plus two. Uh, I think hold up. I think mine's plus <sighs> one, but let me check. It will be plus three as soon as I get my turn. I thought it was plus three. It's going to go my plus deck, four. My deck is plus one. No, I have a, I have a fourteen until oh. I go to sixteen. Gotcha. Oops. Nope. This is oddly, it's it's quiet. Too quiet. Too quiet. Yay! Okay. Um, where's that fireball at, Stubbs? Where are you launching the fireball? Yo, where that fireball? On at? himself. Send it on himself. Yeah, be man. Jokes on you. I'm no longer a loose end because I'm dead. Yeah. Um, jokes on loose you. Sand. I killed myself. At the at the at the two, at the two at the that were threatening us. Well, I mean they're all well, threatening they're us. They're but, all threatening yeah, us. And everything also, is threatening you in this room now. Also, the, there's two. The two that are like standing up are on opposite sides of the room, so you won't be able to get both of them. Yeah, no, I know. I'm at the two that are next to each other and. Dalida. Yep. Well, go, go ahead please. and go ahead and roll it. The ones that definitely have a much better stat block. Yeah. I like how the art's the same. Well, luckily they color. are. Luckily they are okay. still giants, um, and really bad at deck saves. Yay! <laughs> and the uh, the Aracocra in the center aren't much better. So the Aarakocra in the center just die. <coughs> but really? Hey, uh... Yeah, they, they aren't especially strong. Or at least two of them do. Um, Chrysaro succeeded. I succeeded. Yes! So he Wait, takes that's not half. Good for me. Not good no, it's, it's bad for you. In fact, this is terrible. Okay, and with that, it is now Countess Sansuri's turn. What spells does she have? All of them. 
Meteor Swarm. <laughs> well, she wants to level her own castle. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, she is going to cast a spell. Does it resolve? I can't a spell! All right, at what level? Fifth! Okay, roll an intelligence check. Oh, we are so out of spell slots already. Oh. I'm just talking about it. I still have my first and second level. And go. Remember, remember to add your proficiency bonus to this intelligence check. Okay, what do I need to do? So roll an intelligence, general intelligence check. And add four, I think. I'm gonna say, why not just do a save? Oh, yeah, just just do an intelligence save, basically. Okay, Yay. you successfully counter the spell. Woohoo! Noise. Fuck you, yeah, bro. Poopy. Counter. Okay, that's her turn. That was her action. She doesn't move. Uh, she doesn't exactly have anywhere to move. I mean, fair. I was just mentioning. <clears throat> Seth. Uh, I'm not gonna bonus action Zephyr Strike. Okay. Boop. And do that. And then... I will... Fly, like... 15 feet back in ego. And move like here, and then do a ranged sword attack on this guy using the special advantage attack. Up at the top. Yeah, this. This top guy. quadrant. Okay, sounds good. Roll an attack. Whoa, bam! Uh, whoa! Well, good thing you did the special attack. Yeah, that definitely hits. Uh, and then so, I get a. D8 from D8 and a D6. And I always get a D6 now. Dang. 19 damage. Wham! And that'll be my turn. Okay. Stubbs. Yes. It is your turn. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Is that so? Good to know. I yell that and I cast Fireball. Again? Okay. Fireball! Uh, centered on them again, I'm assuming? Um, is there a way to make it hit the uh, one of those other little creatures that I didn't kill? Uh, not if you want to hit both of them. Oh, I want to hit both of them, so... Okay. There it is. And I'm casting it at 4th level. Okay. I'm out of the other levels. Well, that sucked. Ugh. Was it? Oh. Okay. Anything else? Um. Nope. All right. Chrisaro's turn. Oh wait, wait, wait. Waiting. I would definitely. 5, 15, 20, 25. Right there. Okay. Casaro will go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35. Should I roll for you, Sarah? Dang it, I was just typing that. <laughs> Where's this our step book? <laughs> No. Don't go for me, See, we're always so forgetful of Isara. It's almost like she's never there sometimes. Shut up, I'll cut you. <laughs> Even your own friend's just a background character in your story. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> hey, I remember her usually. Usually. Usually, he says. What? I'm not perfect. Alright. JJ is a flawed character, okay? What? JJ has flaws? Never. Yeah. Lies. Spoiler alert, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. I gotta I'm not work it out. Again Except and again, until I get it right. Hey, Stubbs, does a 17 hit? Boo. Uh, shield. Uh, okay. 
that and it doesn't hit. Remember that that's your reaction, so you don't have no reactions. Yeah, I don't have counterspell again. I get Wait, it. didn't he already use counterspell this turn? Just no, because it was his turn. No, because it got to his oh, turn. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, once you get to your turn, you're... Calico! Calico! Uh, I'm gonna center, like, about here-ish. Uh, synaptic static, and it'll get all four of them. That's a fun one. Okay. It's an intelligence save. Yes. What? Okay, well, regardless, the Eric Coker dies. Yeah, screw no. them. They are not... Dang, they're, sad they're, damage. They're, they're not... Not very strong. That is very sad man. damage. But they saved? Uh, Corsaro failed. Okay. Countess Sensory succeeded. He will have to, I don't know, remove a d6. From attacks. Yeah. Yep. And ability checks, as well as constitution saving throws to maintain concentration. Okay. For a minute. Yeah, it's a long time. Yeah, but they can make an int save at the end of each of their turns. Oh, yeah. What? And okay. I'll fly up and over. Okay. Oh, giant boy. 5, 10, 15. It's going to come up and swing at you, Calico. Cool. That jokes on you. You got closer. Um, with his morning star. Does a 20 hit you? Yes. Okay, you take 20 points of piercing damage. Okay, and... Oh, dang it, I forgot that before. Uh, there's... And then I will... With my thing, just poof, over here. What thing? That's part of being a warlock. Okay. Then I'll take five steps closer and swing at Malarakis. Hit me! Does a 28 hit you, Malarakis? Nope, not at all. Could never uh, hit me. You take 18 points of piercing damage. Yeah, this morning star comes down and slams on you. And there goes my temporary hit points. And this one's gonna walk up, and Asara's gonna say, "Oh poop," and just like that, "Oh poop." Uh, 14 actually misses. 28 doesn't though. So she takes. Is haptic static concentration? Ouch. Yeah. Pretty no, it's sure. not. Nope. No, it's not. Because nope. it's just an effect. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. Never mind. Yeah. I was like, I... Per Either way, I'm still concentrating. Sure. That's not a concentration. Hey, Lorna, it's your turn. He's Calico. Oh, I am okay. focused. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um... Okay. 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 All right. Okay. okay. Indeed. All right, I'm going over here. Okay. Punch, punch. Go for it. Pa. That misses. Pa. That hits. It's a good punch. Uh, Man, that was a really good punch. Jeez. Yeah. I think that's Max. Is that Max? That's Max. Yeah. Maximum damage. Um, <laughs> and then Maximum key point damage. for flurry of blows. Okay. Ha. Blow them fur furiously. I mean, what? Ha. Excuse me? That second one misses. How dare you say that about your sister? Whatever. In, in the game, you're not my sister. In the game, in the game technically, he is your sister. Or your brother, sorry. She is your sister. Yeah, you because you are everyone who's not us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but who's to say her brother's still alive? Mm, you you so you were, were her, her brother. brother. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, you're my brother, too. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're my brother. <laughs> also, also, I was her, her wife and her children, and yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's really complicated. It was a very complicated family tree. It's just in... DMs have multiple personality disorder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to go fight the big guy. Disorder, thank you. This guy, right. I, I want to go fight right. the big guy. You know what I got? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, wait a second. 
Maracus, that that attack would have actually no, it would have hit you because first attack roll against you is at advantage, but your cloak of displacement puts it at a disadvantage, so that attack did. However, it's going to use a reaction to swing at you. Does your cloak reactivate at the start of your turn or at the end of your turn? I believe at the start. I'll double check real fast. Go ahead and roll the attack. Uh, until the start of my next turn, so okay, it's back. Then it misses. Hell yeah. Which is good, because the other one was a natural 20. Oh. Oh. So I'm going to run up to this big boy, okay. and I, I want to punch. Alright, sure go for it. Punch one. That, that definitely hits. hits. Power of God! I have the power of God and anime on my side. Ah. Uh. Whoa! Okay. Make another attack and roll again. He really does. That hits. Punch, punch. Now Ultimate that's punch. Cold. So, deck save. Okay. He rolled a natural 20. Holy crap. So does he take half? Give me, give me a second. Yeah, he takes half, but he is not restrained. Oh, wait, no, he got a natural 20, so it's nothing. Oh, that's true. Sorry. But friggin'... Look at that. Nat 20, Nat 20. Oh, wow. Oof. Nat 20, Nat 1. Oh. Uh, I want to punch you again. How dare you? All right. Well, roll, roll your now third attack. That hits. <laughs> no, I won't do another one. Okay. Boy, yeah, that six is really nice. But I'm on the bonus action defensive field. Okay. You regain some temp HP, bro. Yeah, I get uh, 11 back. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Okay. Actually, I should have checked this a long time ago. He was technically out of range to counterspell. Oh. He was closer. Oh, wait, no, because we were all in the line. I see. Yeah, because you were all in that line. So she was technically out of range for counterspell. Okay. Now we That's know. It. Next time. Next time. I'll allow it this once. Okay, I'm like, it's quiet. Oh, just give her the spell slot back. Just move on. Yeah, I, I, I'm tempted to just give Stubbs the slot back and just say her her spell went off. But that would actually change a lot of stuff yeah, about this right now, so I'm going to say it successfully counterspelled. Because it would have ruined Stubbs' last turn. <laughs> it would have ruined Stubbs. <sighs> Not really Stubbs. Actually, yeah, probably. Um... Stubs. What? Make a deck save. Alright, hold up. You are hold the one up. who cast two fireballs. Deck save? Yep. Super good at Wait, don't I have... Okay, wait, hold on. You do not have advantage on deck saves. Okay, I don't. I didn't it's have that with anything. That, that's your that's your capstone thing. Okay. And it's okay, and it wasn't dex. Okay, that's right. all. I, I just was trying to remember. So go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw. Okay, you fail. All right. You take forty-five points of lightning damage Oof. as mm. she lightning bolts you. It's fair. It's yikes from me. That's a yikes for me, dog. So, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, sweet. You talk mad game for somebody in lightning bolt range. <laughs> Aren't we all? You're like... talking mad crap for someone within fireball distance. Alright, so 45, you said? Yep, 45 points of lightning damage. That hurt. Well, sorry, actually, uh, she upcast it, so it's 53 points oh, of lightning damage. Oh, that real hurt. Big hurt. Well, you, you, Why'd you get you rid of Revivify? <laughs> Alright. 
What was it? 53? Now I gotta do math again. 53 okay. points of lightning damage. Okay, so... Okay, so 26 off, of that. 26 off of that. So... So... 53. Okay. Thank you. Yep. <clears throat> and she will... Bonus action. Go invisible. What? Get back here, you coward. It's Sara's turn. Sara says, F this, I'm out. Um, and she will, bonus action, use her fey teleportation at Misty Step. Five, ten, About 20, kiss. Um, and then, because she did that, she will just simply firebolt the fire, the cloud giant up there. Which one? The up at the top. This one? Yes. And she the hits. The top in one. And, oh, deals really poopy damage for an 11th level fireball. Fireball. Not fireball. Oh. Wow. 11th level fireball. <laughs> would... Alright. Seth. I want to learn. I want to learn the magic she knows. <laughs> well, get in touch with the ancient city of Netherworld, bro. We're working on it. Or, or have it appear to you in your dreams. Uh, 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 okay, let's have a fun time. I'm gonna cast the Bigsby's hand, located here. Okay. Um, oh wait, actually. <laughs> We're gonna use this for Big Bigsby's hand. I'm gonna upcast it six level. That's a very small token. Bigsby's small hand. Bigsby's hand. Bigsby's tiny hand. It's Smallsby hand. <laughs> oh, I put it on the wrong layer. There we go. Is that a fire pit? Yep, it's just a fire pit, but we're going to use it instead of a giant Seth token. <laughs> okay. But I miss giant Seth. I like it better. Alright, it's a sixth level Bigsby's hand, you said? Yeah. Okay. You have sixth level cast Bigsby's hand. Bigsby's hand. Uh, Suck these hands. I want to punch this dude. Okay. With the big hand. Go for the punch. Uh, yeah, that it has to be an advantage, sorry. That's, uh, that's still hits. Uh, and because I upcast it, I roll 2d8 additional. Indeed. Indeed. Oh. Oh. Big punch. And uh, I'm gonna back away. Deadly fight my butt. <laughs> Alright. Anything else you would like to do? Uh, no, that's my action and my bonus action and my movement. Okay. Stubbs. Stubbs, don't forget you have your Warhammer that can heal. Just saying. If you need it. Thank you. Healing is for chumps. And and me. I mean, he has ten uses of Cure Wounds in it, so... Yeah, I'm trying to remember how that... Okay. Ten uses of Cure Wounds? Yeah. It'd be a D8 plus 5. Should you use it? D8 plus 5. Ooh. Um. Excuse me. Hello. What's going on with this thing? Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties. How dare oh, you have technical difficulties? Really bad technical difficulties. In my D&D oh, wow. game? How dare you? Wait, your D&D game? That's... Not get out of here! Stop it! All right, geez, sorry, Dad. Cast all the well, spells. That's. All right, Brando wants us to leave. Sorry, guys. Right. I'm about to flip out. All right, I guess we'll go. No, don't go. <laughs> Just... <laughs> what you say? Go, don't go. What do you? What do you want? You to mind, say Dad? goodbye, and I say hello, hello, hello. Just got copyright struck because of Twitch.
We're fine. It was on for three seconds. What you doing, Stubbs? I'm trying to make my computer work. Hold, please. I don't want to hold. All right. Hold what? Uh, my hand. I wanna hold you. Okay, I'll stop. Um, it's too easy to do that with their music. Um, okay. So, I'm going to cast... Oh, decisions, decisions. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. So roll a d8 and add 5. There we go. Okay. Uh, anything else you'd like to join your turn, Stubbs? Um. Crying is always an option. What is an option? Crying. <laughs> <laughs> Pooping your pants is always an option. Um, I will move a little bit more. Just as the baby boy. This way. Okay. The baby boy. Oh yeah, how can we be mad about him pooping his pants if he's a little baby? If he's a little, little baby, baby boy? Guys, it's okay. Oh, that makes Sorrow sense. Sorrow is going to move so here. How can you say to poop in your pants if you're a baby boy? No, I guess... I made him poop in my pants. Make a deck save. Hey, no, that's cheating. Wait, is he doing do an that? attack? No. Okay. This is not an attack. Like, All right. So a little flash of genius, just in case. Oh, okay. So Save he's like mind. trying to grab you and pick you up, and you're just barely ducking out of the way of his hands. All right, Calico. Get wrecked, tall shit. Okay, poof, I'm back. Uh, uh... My guy. Oh, my eye just totally twitched when I said that. <laughs> my eye. I don't my know where eye. she went. <laughs> I'm gonna try to blink out. Dirk, a thousand feet down, has blink a stroke. Out. Um, Poof! Okay. I'm gone again. If that's all you did? And I'll go... You just disappeared again? Yep. Such help. Okay. Fly giant turn. Oh, oh, oh. Swing at you, Seth. No. Does a 20 hit you? Yeah. Alright, you take 17 points of piercing damage. And I okay. need you to make a constitution saving throw. All my HP, all my temp HP is gone. And one of your actual health. Yeah. Boop. Uh, con save. DC is okay. You're good. DC is also, more lower than that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so remembered for you, Seth, is you do have my spell refueling ring, so you can get a first, second, or third level spell slot back. Oh, oh dear. You guys also do still have that potion of rejuvenation that you guys have just been holding on to since like the third session of this campaign. Yeah, but if Except I use it, then we won't cause... have it. Because uh, Fira has to hold it for the boss fight. Yeah, Fira Except has. It. Yeah, what if Fira I need it. it later? All right, he's gonna swing again. Swing at you again. Fira has it. There's a twenty-three to hit. Why? You take uh, twenty-seven points of piercing damage. Ow! And he should make another Constitution saving throw. Yes, so Bigby's hand drops. How much damage is that? 20? 27. Oh, 27. Oh, just shy. Yeah. Yeah, so DC was 13. Okay, and then this one's going to swing at Aorna. Um, actually, Aorna, you make a deck. Oh, this is going to be stupid. You make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, you do. I shall have the monk make a dexterity save. Yeah, you're fine. 
Alright, A or not. Alright. How dare you try to pick me up! Pat! Oh. Pat! How there dare you go. try to pick me up? You punch him in like the fingernail, and he's just like, <laughs> What are you doing? You just like kick no. him in the toe. Get away from me. That hits. Yeah, that's that second one definitely hit. The second one misses? Um Alright. Alright. Flurry of blows. Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay. Ugh. Is it 17 hit? Yes, 17 hits. Okay. Alright. Malarakas. Come on, Mr. Giant Man. But we'll punch. Punch oh, one. Mr. Tellyman, uh, Tellyman. That does hit. Power of Gond. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. Deck save again. Power of Gond. He rolled a seven. So he takes 10 extra cold damage and is restrained. Okay. So this next strike has advantage. This is correct. Punch. Oh, oh my god, it happened again! <laughs> I vote well, that's already to the mat 20. You you can gond him, and the, all that damage on the gond would be a crit as well. Oh hell yeah, I'm gonding him again. Alright, go for it. I like how Gond has become a verb. You can Gond him. Yeah. Oh, uh, God. oh, that's a bleeding thing. Does that count as rolling two 20s in a row? No. Uh, I, I am going to say no. Dang it. Come on. Oh, dang it. <laughs> dang it, and it evened out. Okay, uh, so... The and the dice take us. So he starts he taking... Save. Okay. Okay, but he super blo blows past the DC. Wait. <laughs> Did you subtract a d6? Doesn't matter, he rolled a natural 20. Dang it. Plus 10. Dang it. Um, uh, well, that's... That's the turn. Okay. Well, owie. That freaking hurt, dude. Wee wowie. Okay. Um, Countess Sensory reappears. Dubs, make another dexterity saving throw. He's up for you. I know, jeez. Fire two fireballs at her. Yeah. It makes sense, but dang. She don't like you. De dexterity? Make another dexterity saving throw. Ah, oh, dang it. Hey, you fail. So you take another... Uh, 49 points of lightning damage. You have absorbed elements. Does he have it prepared, though? That's the question. Yeah. If he doesn't have it prepared. I do. If he doesn't... Oh, you I'm do? Like, he can't change them every day, so he probably does. Yes, he can. I can't change them. Wizards can't change them every day? Wizards change their spells every day. Wizards, they have, they druids, only clerics. Prepare the spells they have in their spell book. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Basically, the, the, the way it works is, like, wizards can only memorize once like a certain amount of spells a yeah. day from their spellbook because they don't have time to bust out their spellbook in the middle of yeah fighting okay so if you're absorb elementsing you only take um oh gosh 24 points of lightning damage if it's a lightning bolt is it or is it something else uh it appears to be a lightning bolt yes so I don't mean to be that guy, but would it hit also Seth, or is he up in no, the air? No, because Seth is up in the air. I'm okay. 15 feet in the air, baby. Okay, I just wanted to I, was, I was thinking I would hit them both, and then I remember that Seth is 15 feet in the air. And so... That's why I wanted to double check. Um, so it's 24? Yes, you take 24 points of lightning damage. Okay, thank you. I bet you're feeling about as scared as Flower right now, because she's hiding under my desk. Yeah, she don't like the wind. She's so Poor scared brothers. for stubs. I know. The, the, He's the gonna be ninja, okay, Flower. The wind ninjas are out and about. Yeah. It's the wind giants. That's what we're fighting right now. That is true. And bonus action, she goes invisible. Stop doing that, you coward! Isara is going to... Burp. Yeah, and she is going to... Quicken... Uh, oh wait, she has to spend, like, quicken. 
Spend two sorcery points. Yeah, okay. So she's going to spend two sorcery points to quicken cast Sunbeam. Oh, get wrecked. Sunbeam? Get wrecked, me. Um, oh, stop so hitting yourself. Has to make a stop con save. Oh, it's a con save, though. Cloud Giant con save. That actually rolls a natural one. Ooh. So he takes 62 points of radiant damage. Yikes. And then because she cast it as a bonus action, she uses her action to do it again. Oh, wow. And he rolls terrible again. So he takes... Another 21 points of radiant damage. Okay. Ouch. Um, Seth. I'm very upset that they killed my Bigsby's hand. Yeah, that was fast. Very upset. <laughs> so... Enough to rage. Yep, I would like to rage, uh, revealing that I've secretly been putting points into Barbarian this entire time. He's it's been putting always, points into Barbarian since Always fifth the level. casters. He's pouring an Ayana. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. I would like to cast... Rathalim's Psychic Lance at the dude who punched me. Yep. Is it an hit save? Dude? No, that's this guy. Oh, is that that guy? Yes, so <clears throat> int save. They're great at these. They are better at them than their deck saves, but he still fails. 76 damage. 76? Yep. You heard it here, folks. Ouch. 20 damage. They are incapacitated. Big. <laughs> Alright. Anything else you would like to do? Like this far away. Okay. Chrisaro will take an attack opportunity at you. I am Zephyr Strike, I believe. That's that. true. Your movement does not provoke opportunity attacks. You're right, never mind. Yep. Stubbs. All right. He's also restrained. Just remember that. Right, so his attack would be a disadvantage, but... And minus a d6. Oh, he hasn't been making that in-save. Shoot. He just made, like, two in-saves. He's that confused by everything. Okay. He did He did break the d6. Dang thing. it! How? Who are you attacking? Oh, that is horrible. That's so sad. Oh, that that's sad. Okay. The attack is at advantage. Yeah, because he's restrained. Because he's restrained. So what does that mean? So go ahead and roll again and see if you roll a natural 20. What? Roll it again and see if you roll a natural 20. Because you're at advantage, so you would roll that attack with advantage technically. Uh. Okay. Oh. So, that's fine. Would have been da better damage, though. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else you would like to do, Stubbs? Nope. All right. Kosaro, how does he break out of the restraint? Is it just until his start? Until his turn? Uh, at the end of his turn, he may end the effect. Bruh. At the end of his turn, ha <laughs> ha, sucker. Okay. Well, luckily, what he's doing doesn't require a roll. Hey, Malarakis, make a deck save. Oh, that wasn't supposed to be an advantage. Okay. So, it, while his legs are restrained and he's trying to, like, break out of them, he's like, puny person grabs you by the head and throws you out of the room. <laughs> he just, that, that is an open pit in the center of the room oh, that he just that baseball pitches you out of the room. So you sort of hit the edge and... Cool. Oh, hey guys, I think it just died. Yeah, I can't you do anything you for it. don't you? No, I don't have any more spell slots for it. Lit. Calico. 
Uh, nothing I can do about that. Uh, so... Yeah, I will... Poof back. And, um... What is my movement? Okay, so I will... Fly... How tall are these guys? Uh, they are about 20 feet tall. Okay, so I'll fly about... Actually, no, I'm going to attack first. Um, I'm going to Eldritch Blast. One at this dude. Eldritch Blast, alright. Just one at this dude. Boo! That misses. Okay, I'm going to try it again at that dude. Boo! Oh my gosh. That misses. I'm going to try again at that dude. That barely hits. And then add five to that. Okay. And then bonus action. Um, I will... Flower, stop. Um, I will flap my wings and a ton of little insects will start flying around me. Um, and I will fly at him and 20 feet up. Or 20... I guess 25 feet up. I can only move here then. Um, and then uh, we'll see if I get out. Or blink out. And I blink out. Yep. Oh, giant. Oh, it's me. Golly, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Holy space there for a second. It's going to swing at Aorna. Does a 27 hit you, Aorna? I'm assuming so. So you take 22 points of piercing damage. Okay. 16 minus 22 is 6, yeah? In the yes. Right in my head. Yes. And then it's swinging at you again. Does a 20 hit you? I believe it does, right? Yeah. Okay, so you take 16 more points of piercing damage. Okay. And then this other one is going to... Come over at Isara and do the same thing. Isara has to roll a deck save. She's great at these. Okay. So you see Malarakis get sharked out by Crisaro, and then Isara also quickly follows Malarakis. So Malarakis, you're like, oh, she's, and you see Asara's tumbling body also follow after you. Ah, oh, Dang it! All right, Aorna. Okay. I'm using my face step to. Wait. I can. I think I can get there. Third, five. Oh, Thirty. Well, that's that's closer. Okay, I'm face stepping. Okay. Thirty feet. So what's the? Is it enemies within five feet of you? D anyone I choose within five feet of me. There's no okay. one within five feet of me. I'm not doing it for that purpose. I'm. Oh, I mean, well, uh, you can, can't you? I could, but there's no one around me who's an enemy. Unless I mean, it's. Wait. You can also do it from where you teleported from. I thought. Am I incorrect? When I don't believe. You're using it before you teleport. Yeah. Oh, I don't if, that. Okay, sure. Where the heck? The jeez. No, I, oh, I'm Roger reading it, so, so one choice, one creature of your choice that you can see within five feet of you before you teleport must, see, must succeed on a wisdom saving throw, so sure. Okay. This They're actually not bad at these. Yeah, it's, it's not it doesn't like matter, roll the natural one. Ha <laughs> ha! You're afraid of me, fool! I'll flip him off as I jump down here. And I'm gonna grab Mal. Oh, he's way too far out of reach for you to grab. Except, uh, like, He's how many... 60 feet down, Ashley. I can fly. You can't fly that fast. Your fly speed is 30 feet. No, her fly speed is her movement speed. 
Okay, how strong are you? You're trying to lift a dude who currently weighs about 300 pounds. Well... Because he's it's wearing full plate. Sure, but it's still something that I would attempt to do. Okay, it's not... but how, str how strong are you? You're attempting to do it. I'm not debating that. This is just if you're successful. 13. 13 is not enough. So you can be... I will say you can be slowing his fall. But you are not stopping it, really. But now you are sort of controlled tumbling with Malarrakis. You gotta take this stuff off, Mal. Uh, absolutely not. Malarrakis, it is your turn. I am absolutely not taking this off. You have rockets in your well, boots? Could have. We've taken the time to. Uh, well, I'm yeah. not letting go of you. So then I best, guess you best start aiming towards the boat. Uh, you will, you'll hear in your head from Isara, I can get us both back to the castle. Fly me to Isara! And then I will just... <laughs> just like, trying to... Just, I'm just picturing this. Aeona gets a hernia while trying to pull the through midair. Oh. I will just hold my turn Come it. to. Come it. Come it. Come it. I'll hold my turn to punch something that appears with next to me if we teleport. Okay. Come to sensory. Reappears. And um. Seth. Yes, sir. Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I hate these. I have never been good at these. And I'm not making a point to do it now. Right. And you're still not. You sort of you see Countess Sansuri reappear and you're like, ha, ah, there you are, and then all of a sudden just like rainbows hit you right in the face. Um I love rainbows. And then you fall to the ground, incapacitated. You got hit with the gay. Oh no. So you take <laughs> twenty or two you take two D six points of ball damage. So oh, okay, so you take three points of damage. Um however Yeah, I believe that does knock you out of the hypnotic pattern because you took damage. So you yes. fall to the ground and are immediately unincapacitated. Yes! Correct idiots! And then Counter Sensor is going to run up to you. 5, 10. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't supposed to do that. No, 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 not that. <laughs> oh, shiz. I retract my statement. I'm All right. Danger. So, Isara is going to eventually uh, try and grab onto Malarrakis. We're going to roll a check for that because you guys are falling. Okay. Um, so, she does successfully grab onto you, and, uh, Dimension Doors, both of you, back up to, uh, we'll say probably, like, here, because she's just, like, going 500 feet, or, like, however many feet straight up, and just swoop into the, uh, um, into the throne room. Was she able to take bridges. me as well? She or? can only take one other person of her size. But you okay. can fly. But you can fly. I know. It's just still like... <laughs> yeah, bye. Heroism <laughs> for nothing! <laughs> um, and Fira wasn't even see queer to see how cool I looked doing it. <laughs> no, and Sara is going to spend two sorcery points, I think. Is it two sorcery points? Yes, to quicken cast Firebolt um, at Chris Aro, which super misses. Oh, and I believe Chris Aro was supposed to be able to break out of the ice, which he doesn't. He failed his con save? Oh, the con save. Yeah. What's the DC on it? 17. Okay, yeah, no, he still fails. Ah, get wrecked. All right, Seth. You sort of like got stunned for a second. You re re come back to yourself on the ground with Counter Sensory charging at you. 
big lady. This is not what I meant. Uh. She bad at. Uh, nothing. <laughs> you don't know. Uh. Why don't you teleport, Seth? You know what? You know what? Shut, shut your mouth. <laughs> Phantasmal killer. Okay, what is this save? Story. Wisdom. Wisdom. She rolls a twenty-six. Hey, that definitely beats my thing. And she's <laughs> a lament. She's literally bad at succeeds. nothing. Uh. Have you considered not succeeding that save? I'm she did going consider to... it, thought it was a bad plan, and decided to succeed instead. Ah, I mean, fair. She at least I'm considered. Just run behind this statue. Okay, you provoke an opportunity attack. I no, because your, right? your zephyr strike doesn't drop because it's not concentration. Yeah. Yeah. And That's so oh. good. <laughs> Bonus action. Uh, inspire. Oh gosh. Who's within I range? I don't think I'm in range in anybody. You oh, no. range of Malarakis and Asara. Uh, Malarakis, have an inspiration. Oh, hell yeah. Hopefully I don't get thrown out a window again. <laughs> well, hopefully my thing will prevent you from being thrown out a window. Alright, Stubbs. You now have sort of three cloud giants turning and looking at you. <laughs> oh no, our, our wizard. I was gonna say our squishy wizard, but I'm squishier. He's um, like, not anymore, like, I'm sure. He's than I am. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty squishy now. I've been hit a few times. That's true, you yeah. have been. You've taken two lightning bolts like a champ, though. That's is true. It, is it 20 foot radius or 20 foot diameter? Radius. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> However, heads up. If you're trying to get all three of them, you will also most likely hit Isara. I don't... Th think that's true. You could, like, do it here and not yeah, get Yeah, I'm pretty fire. sure I can do something like that. That's what I was, that's exactly what I was thinking. Um, do you want to make the circle or do you want me to? I make it a circle. I'll just check it. Alright. Because that's 20, that's that's 20. Yeah. Oh my gosh, why is it so dummy thick? Mm -hmm. Now back it up a little bit. Nice. Sorry, it's, it's not up to size yet. There we go. Okay, yeah, you could. Back it up a lot of it. There you go. Sweet! Fireball! Fireball! Fireball. Um, everyone's... Okay, alright, yeah, and I guess I'm... But yeah, so, fireball first. See how this does. Let's Third. see... Uh, fireball. Here we go, baby. Okay. That is enough to bring this cloud giant down. Thank goodness, finally. However, not enough to bring Kisaro or Kanto Sensei down. How hurt is the big dude cloud giant? Kisaro? Yeah, scale like one uh, to ten. Like nine point five. Or no 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 no, sorry. No, like point nine. He's not he's not damaged. After all my fireballs, he's barely damaged. I was saying, no, he's, no, he's, 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 he's very damaged. He's very he's damaged. He's not in death door. Oh yeah. Nine point five. Nine point five. I didn't remember like which end of the scale technically. Nine point five hurt. That was yes. I how hurt okay. is he, so not how low he is. So yes. So uh, technically, he'd be at a nine. Okay. He's very, he is. He's at a nine. You're a nine in my eyes. Thanks, babe. You're a ten in mine. Wow, the silence speaks volumes. Mm-hmm. I feel betrayed. <laughs> Austin, you're Austin. You're the only ten. Okay. You're okay, the only yeah. ten I see. Uh, he's, 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 but he's from Oklahoma. He's gonna throw a rock at Stubbs. <laughs> Man, they do not like Stubbs. Cassaro, because he keeps throwing freaking fireballs. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey Stubbs, does a twenty six hit you? Uh I don't think you could shield that. Shield plus elemental plus <laughs> No, it doesn't work like that. Oh. Alright, so you take um thirty seven points of bludgeoning damage. No, can it be thirty six please? Nope, it's thirty seven. Oh. Can it can it be thirty six please? Mm. Oh, he's down. What, what about yeah. thirty six? That's exactly what he is. You're you're on the ground, Stubbs. I am unconscious, buddy. I think that's the first time in a long time Stubbs has ever gone unconscious in a fight since the ice dragon fight with yeah. all, all the barbarians. Yeah, that was like early in the game too. Oh no, no, that was the eye of the all father. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty recent. That was the first oh, time out there, though. Well, I, no, that was, I mean, that was. A a while ago, but yeah. yeah. I mean, it's been a while. So it's a lot of time. I, I went down during that, but yeah, I did. Yeah, because you dimension doored into the middle of a bunch of barbarians. Barbarians. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Calico. Okay, poof, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to do sickening radiance like over here so that it gets these suckers. Big suckers. What's the radius on 30 sickening foot radius? radius? So I'll just hit the wall and stuff. Okay. And what what is that? It's a con save? It is a con save, yeah. But it's worth a shot. Alright. Chris Aro has a nineteen. Countess Sansuri oh has a twenty three. Oh my gosh, why am I incapable of rolling damage? She has what? She has a twenty three. Ugh, oh, dang it. Okay. Well, there goes my last spell slot. Then I'll uh Fly towards this, or five feet above this guy's head, and let's see if I blink out. Oh, oh, also, your blink drops. Why? Sickening radiance is a concentration spell. A blink, blink is, is not. not. Blink is not. Oh crap! Oh. But I didn't blink out. <laughs> Wild. Oh, but he is within my aura, so he takes five points of poison damage. Okay. You ready for him to multiply that, like, tenfold? No. 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 Stop. I expected that I would blink out. Alright, he's gonna swat at you with his morning star. It's a twenty-three hit. Yeah, certainly. So you take twenty-three points of piercing damage. Oh. Okay. Make con Make it con save. Oh, for sickening radiance? Yep. Okay. Con save. Okay, you super succeed. Wait, how much damage did I take? Uh, 23. So the DC is 11. Yeah, no, I was just for health. Alright, and then he's gonna swing at you again with a 27. Okay. So you take 20 more points of piercing damage. Okay, I'm gonna and... reaction and not do that, and I'll turn into a big thing of ice and drop on his head. How? Because that's another Eldritch invocation. As a reaction, I could Encase Tomb myself in ice. Mm. Okay, well, Take how far? You're not decent. super above him. You're five feet five above feet him. Above. You don't deal any damage to him. Dang it. You clonk on his head and then fall to the ground. Okay, yeah, I won't do that then. Never mind, never mind. Okay. Okay, how much damage is that? 20? 20 points of piercing damage. Okay. And then you need to make another con concentration check. Okay. DC is 10. Okay. Woohoo! Okay. Oh, Chris Aro needs to roll to break out of the freaking restraint. It's a con save, you said, right? Yes. Okay, he's got a 19. So he does actually break out of it. Finally. Hook him long enough. Freaking cloud giant over here. Wait, who was, who was held in? Chris Aro. Just With the, the, guy. the guy who chucked a rock at you. Wait, so how do you chuck a rock at me? Because his legs are restrained. He oh, made actually oh, have disadvantage oh, on that. Oh, he did have disadvantage. The 26 okay. was disadvantage. Okay. The, the, other roll, the other roll was a 28. Um, uh, uh, yeah, that's actually because there's only one left. Aorna, it's your turn. You are about 60 okay. feet down currently and just kind of hovering. Yeah, um... Oh, he started his turn there, so he would have taken damage again. Who? The, this guy. 
He, well, didn't, he hasn't started his turn yet. I just forgot to roll to break out their strain at the end of his turn. Oh, because he goes right before me. Okay. Can you remind me, um... Is it, like, bright in here? Yes. Is it bright down where I'm at? Yes. It's still daylight outside. <sighs> okay, I just wanted to see, because otherwise I'm going to have to dash. Yeah, it's still it's about sunset, so there's still a lot of there's still a lot of sun sunlight out, especially considering you guys are a thousand feet up. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I thought I had something else. Um. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna have to dash. Are you oh. action dashing or step of the winding? I'm gonna action dash. Okay. Um, so that I just rise a hundred feet. Okay. And then. So you are forty feet above the opening in the room. Yeah, and then I'm going to. Actually, you're probably like thirty-five because there's a. You're 30, because there's a 10-foot wall around the hole. So you're 30 feet above the hole in the ground. Okay. Then I'm it, going to... Incorporating flying into this is wonky. Then I don't like I'm playing going... in three dimensions. Oh my gosh. Then I'm going to use my... Uh, how much is it for for my magic again? Is it two key? I think it's two key points for... Because they're all second level spells, I believe. I think it's a yeah. key point per level of the spell. Okay. Um, I have to double check on this one. Uh, yeah, two key points to cast any of the following spells. Dar Darkness, Dark Vision, Pezzo, Trace, or Silence. Okay. Alright, two key points. I'm casting Silence. Um... Centered right on her. Okay. Silence is a 20 foot radius sphere. And before before I do, I'm like, okay, magic around her is not gonna work, so just womp on her. And then I do that. Okay. Malarakis. Alright. I get out, Stubbs is down, but I bail in the silence so nothing comes out. Yep. And I'm confused. So I have 5, 10, wait, 5, 10, 15 out. I'm just kind of yelling the entire way, and once I can hear myself go, oh, Stubbs is down, as I whop on this guy again. Yep. Punch. Where is Stubbs? I don't okay. see his... That uh, will barely hit. Okay. Yeah, where is Stubbs? He's, He's way at the end of the hallway. At the opening of the... Oh, room. that's why I can't see him. I I'm going to power of gone this one again. Okay, for a second I thought you were about to say I'm going to power kill, and I was like, I'm sorry, what? Ah, I get to hell again! Punch again! Oh. No. That's so sad. Womp womp. Quick, roll uh, another d20 to see if you miss your next attack. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that does, that does bring him to zero. Ah, hell yeah. Uh, and then I had moved like 15 feet, and then yep. I will like, step over him. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Excuse me, oh. sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I think I have to end like right there. But yeah. Bow. I can't end on top of him. Yeah, the one so. time I'm like, hey, here's a chance for the punchy people to punch on the lady. I can't punch because I deal thunder damage. Oh. Thunder damage does nothing in silence. Yeah. So have fun! Yeah. Alright, she has to roll a con save. She's got a 27. So she's gonna go 5, you failed. 10, no. <laughs> 5, <laughs> 10, 15, 25. 30, 35. And swing at you, Seth. 
with her spear. Does he have cover behind that statue? He does. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was intending. I'm uh, like, I know you were hiding. So yeah, you'll, you'll have plus two to your armor class. It's not gonna do much. So it's a twenty-five to hit. Oh yeah, yeah that statue did a lot. <laughs> So you take 20 points of piercing damage. Well, his AC is 20 right now. Oh, okay. Just against giants who get plus 12 to attack. How much damage? 20. Cool. And she's cool. going to stab at you again. Yep, I'm going to die. With a 22 for 16 piercing damage. I'm alive somehow. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then Sansuri will go invisible. If only my thing had worked. <sighs> it's Sara no longer has a sight, so she's going to step out of the silence and firebolt at... Uh, actually, no, she still has um, Sunbeam up. So she's going to action Sunbeam this guy down here. Uh-oh, is that getting me too? No. I'm on top of it? No. Okay. He's 20 feet tall. She can aim down far enough to still hit him and not you. Okay. It's a pretty thin beam. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a line. It's only like a 5 foot line. 5 foot wide, 60 foot long line. Okay. It's lightning bolt, but radiant. Woo! It just lasts for a long time. It also only does 68 damage. Which I guess averages to about the same, doesn't it? I mean, 8d6 versus 68. Eh. Pretty close. No. Okay. It moves the, well, it moves the uh, bottom up. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. But also, this one gives you more damage output because you can do it multiple times. Sorry. Right, well, unfortunately, he rolled a natural 20, so he takes nothing from the sunbeam. Uh, Gosh, he's all right. Get better. So then she will spend two sorcery points to quicken cast Firebolt. She does manage to hit him. Or okay, fireball damage. Okay, Seth. You are in the corner and somehow alive. Yep. Uh-huh. And okay. you did hear from Malarakis yell that Stubbs is down. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to move... Uh, this uh, is all green, just in the corner, just so you know. What? Like, this whole... Oh, this whole corner yeah, this whole is, glowing, is green. glowing green. Why? Sickening radiance. So Push don't go through there. there. I mean, just don't start your turn there. Oh, no, and whenever you enter for the first time, in. don't go through there, yeah. Well, that makes things more complicated. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does. Uh... Wait, does my move speed go up if I use the Zephyr Strike? Yeah. Wait, wait, if you move, the, if you use the Zephyr Strike, no, I just think that your natural movement goes up. So I think you just have a speed of 40. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I wanted to know if I took that into account or not. Um, okay, so I'm gonna... Go... Uh, 10, 15... Five. That is in the 40. radius. Oh, uh, it's a thirty-foot radius circle. So I think okay. it went to like this. I okay. I would like to try to navigate the edge of the circle here and get like here. Is that still in no. the zone? Wait. That is the sickening radiance. Uh, distance. Okay. So now you're in the silence. Yeah, that's but fine. That's fine. I, okay, so let the me... The silence like, isn't going to kill him. 15, 20. 25, 35, 40. I'm going to dash. Him? 30. 40. Would I be able to see uh, Brando, Pinnell, Stubbs? I can't see him on the map because of the weird lighting. Um, 
Yeah, you would yeah. be able to. However, you are not in range. <laughs> There's silence and sickening radiance. Bonus action. I'm going to cast Healing Word on myself. Okay. At... Uh, uh, second level. I thought you were going to say 7th, and I was like, what? Don't even have 7th level healing word. Uh, cool upper level, cool up cast, bud. Uh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. You're doing fine, don't worry about it. I mean, Chris Arm's down. Yeah. And this club, the... giant, this club giant's kind of occupied with the buzzing fairy attacking it in the face. Yeah, the problem is the lady's going to come after me. Why would she come after you? You don't even know where she is. If she knows where I'm at, that's the problem. Stubbs fireballed her a whole bunch, and I just killed her friend. So, you're good. Alright, that's my turn. Stubbs, go ahead and whisper me a death save. Okay. Calico. Okay, he takes... <clears throat> Five points of poison damage. Oh. Okay, and I'm gonna stab him in the in the top of the head. Uh, okay. Stab him in the top of the head. Oh, dang it! I don't have a short sword. I have a short bow. Okay, this is really gonna suck. Okay. Uh, that does still hit. Okay. Okay. Wait, aren't you packed with a blade? Yeah. You can summon a short sword, can't you? Oh, then... That's the whole know. pack of the blade stick. Then yeah, I would have done that. So, let's see. So you'd roll a d4 rather than a d... Or a d6 rather than a d4. Okay. I'm just gonna do it twice. D d6, you said? D6. Okay. Okay. And then plus... Whatever. Six. So 12 points of damage... And try and blink out of here. Good. Oh no! Okay. Up giant's turn. He's going to swing at the fairy, buzzing around his head. Uh, twenty-three to hit. Yeah, I'm low. Or uh, nineteen piercing damage. Okay. And you should make a Constitution saving throw. DC is ten. Okay. okay. And a natural 20. Uh, now I will use my reaction to turn into ice. Okay. So you click and fall to the ground. I would say you're probably like here. You roll off him to the ground. Okay. So you still take the 19, but you don't take the 33. Okay. okay. A or not? Okay. Well, um, I'll fly over here. Do I see her in my blind vision? Uh, Countess Sensory? No. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Well, then I will... Probably Wait a second. It. Tomb of Levistus doesn't just make you negate all the damage. No, no it takes you know, a whole it, bunch yeah. of temporary hit points. Yeah, so you take 10 temporary hit points, which take as much of the trigger damage as possible. That gives you 10 times your warlock level. Yeah. Oh, 10 hit points per... Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry. I missed the per warlock level part. Yeah. That'd be really nice. lame if it was just 10. Why did it stop charging? Sorry, just a second. However, because you are... Uh, oh, no, never mind. I don't think incapacitated drops what? concentration. No, you just can't take actions. Sorry, I just realized that my computer oh, no. is charging, and so um, I have You lose concentration on a spell if you are incapacitated or if you die. Okay. So it dies. It drops. Correct. Okay. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. It was kind of in the way. It was kind of in the way. She wasn't exactly going to walk through it. 
Alright. What are you doing, Aaron? Sorry, I spent all that time trying to make sure that my uh, computer was on the charger because I was like at 2% um, unknowingly. Okay. Um. I don't know. Shoot a lightning here. bolt. I don't. I can't do that. Ah, uh, lame. Me. All the cool kids can shoot lightning bolts. Shut up. <laughs> they shoot lightning bolts. That's not going to be as effective. Huh? I don't know. You can. You can get here. Except I'm not. I don't have my ping well, selected. Uh, here. What I'll do is I'll action dodge. Here. Dash. Yes, that's what I meant. Um, okay. I believe that's your turn. Yeah, I just thought there was something I could do with my... Uh... My... You can, you can technically patient defense. But, that's about it. Okay, I'll do that. Is that one or two? I think that's two key points. Okay. Let me double check that. Patient defense is one. That one. Yeah. Okay. Malarakis. Cool. I'm gonna say, hey Seth, you got stubs? Cool, good answer. <laughs> Uh, We're not so. in the silence anymore. I will Sorry, go. I was muted and I didn't realize it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and take the attack of opportunity from Cloud Giant Boy there. Yep. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. So 15, super misses. Yeah. And I will step out here and yell out, Hey, Countess! Come out, coward! <laughs> if you want to be a ruler, you gotta face us. And I will hold a punch for if I see her close to me. Okay. Well, she will come uninvisible. And I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, beans. Okay, but the cloud giant behind you also fails the dex save. I didn't mean to make two. Oh, do I need to make a dex save? Um, are you on the ground? I'm 30 in the air. Okay, then no. Okay. Kill your own friend. Come on, do it. Okay. Um, so you succeed. Cloud Giant doesn't. So you only take... Um, 18 points of lightning damage. Ha! Wrecked. Then she will. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I mean, I can punch her? Yep. Hell yeah. Punch, punch. Punch one. Uh, that will hit. Cool. Punch two. That will also hit. Oh, hell yeah. Their AC is not super high. I will use my final power of Gond. Okay. It's another freeze. Gond save. Gond save. It's a 23. Dang. Did she take half? Yep. Cool. She takes seven. That is the turn. Okay. Um, Isara is like, Aah! um, Isara will actually try and shocking grasp Countess Sensor. <laughs> oh, and super whiff it. Um, two sorcery points, do it again. Go, even worse. Okay, she stays there. Seth. You are muted, JJ. Seth, come back. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 
authority. Okay. <laughs> you are well within uh, range of steps now. Yeah. I will bonus action healing words. Okay. Stubs gets eight health. Okay, so now I do all that coughing and craziness that you heard. You also come back with a level of exhaustion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I will... Twenty feet. I will sword this. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. Jeez. Nice. Do it. It's getting really good with Dawnblade. That's his main. Yep. That's that's my turn. Stubs. You are conscious, but ow. And you yeah, yeah. still have healing. Huh? Your hammer can still heal. Can it do more than one charge at a time? Yeah, it's got like ten charges. No, can it do can... more than oh. one at a time? That has think can. ten uses, but it can only do oh. one at a time. Uh. It doesn't okay. make it a cool charged one. That'd be rad, though. Uh, would be. Okay. So, do I get some amount of points that's not going to keep me alive the next turn anyways, or do I attack? Hmm. Hmm. Up to you, Mr. Fireball. I mean, I could cast a fireball that just hits her. I cast fireball. Yeah, I can. Yeah, it's not 150 foot range. It's not 120. Lightning bolt's 120. My bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we good. We good. That's at zero now, though. Okay, and then that go there, and then that go there. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, she barely fails. Ah, get wrecked. And then, um, 5, 15, let's see, this is the, wait, 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 5, 10, dang it, let's see, 5, 10, 25, gah, look at that. Are you running away? No. Tactical displacement. You do appear to be running away. I'm not running away. Okay. He's running only have... towards safety. Yeah, I can still... I'm within range to attack and be attacked. You, you cannot see anyone. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. The wall is super blocking your vision. Now you might be able to see Asara on like the top of. The yeah. Thing. Attack Asara. Because the, the dynamic lighting layer only goes halfway through the wall. It's not actually to the wall edge. So you can't see anything right now except for Seth and Asara. Oh wait, hold on. And Chrisara's unconscious body. One second. And all the tried fried chicken you made. Fried chicken. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, so I can't see her because my line of sight's here, so I can still... Correct. So you can fireball Asara, but I wouldn't recommend it. Well, I wouldn't either. I mean, I he mean, also okay. knows she was over there, though. He could, like, blindly shoot. Can't well, I him. also, my next turn will have movement and can make it to where I can see people before I okay. attack. Is I'm, there I'm some just... reason that if I go this way that it, like, breaks the game or something? What? You see the way? six more cloud giants coming towards us. If I go here, where I'm currently standing, does it like break the game in some weird, unexpected way? No, I'm just wondering. I was just wondering if you were running away or not. I'm not running away. Okay. It is good to know that I can't see the crazy lady Correct. right this second, but that's okay with me right now. 
Alright, Calico. Okay, end of my turn. It melts, and please, for the love of all that is good and holy, let me blink out of here. Thank goodness. The problem is blink. It's unreliable. Yeah. Boy, if it was reliable, it'd be super broken. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's my turn. At the end, yeah, Melt would say next to you. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Quad Giant is going to swat at Aorna. At disadvantage, because they're dodging. That's 29 still hit. So you only take 19 points of piercing damage. Oh, only 19. That's better, better than 27. Yeah, I know. And then uh, 16 missed. Yeah. Hey, Aorna. Alright, big guy, my turn. Please don't make a fool of me. Three natural uh, ones. What? Three natural ones. Better not. Uh, better not. Better not. Okay, that hits. That hits. Alright, flurry of blows. Okay. Oh, that, nice. That misses. Um, <laughs> okay. He is still standing. What the fuck? I hear no bell. Cloud Giants have 200 hit points, guys. Okay, Malarakis. All right. You and me. I was gonna. Punch her a lot. Okay. Punch Swing for a punch. Yes, yes, that's it. Punch tool. Yep, that is. Um, defensive field as a bonus action. Okay. Um, that actually will bring her to her knees, not unconscious, but it will bring her to her knees. Um, and she does start begging you to stop. Yo, Don't oh, give her mercy! Now? No mercy for the idiot! If you want the punch, don't kill me! Thumbs down. <laughs> you can just find it once you're dead. No, you can't. It's on a different plane. You kill me, you lose contact with it. Leave her. Stubbs is running up towards her. Leave it. And he stops about halfway as he hears what she says. I... Hold out my hand and punch, I go. I punch Stubbs in the face. No, I us... stopped running. I know, I know. Yeah. And it says, "Then give me the conch, and we can move on with our day." I don't have it on me. It's in my quarters in a secret chest. Well, let's go get it then, and no yeah. funny business. We can go get it. She sort of like looks at the cloud giant, and the cloud giant just sort of like nods and resheats his greatsword. Um, and comes over and wakes Chrisaro up. Wakes him? I thought we killed him. No, you brought him to zero, but you didn't kill him. I mean, I think I need to beat the shit out of him, so. Alright. Well, let's go. As you can see, we're strong enough to take you guys. No more funny business. Oh crap! Where where am I? Where's where's my module stuff at? <laughs> she says aloud. Um. Okay, uh, Calico. Eventually, you would come back. Oh yeah. And yeah. That's a good point about the four, four more D twenties. I mean, she could also just end it as a bonus action. Yeah, okay, but I she, didn't. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the blink. I mean, not a bonus action. It's an action to do it. But yeah, you could just end it. Okay, I'll end it. That way you're not... Oh, hey, guys, what's up? Hey, guys, Are we done fighting now? <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna do some quickened healing. Hey. Just... Um, eventually, she will lead you through a lot of the castle. Um... Walking through more quarters, a barracks at some point, um, up to a very beautiful um, 
courtyard, um, where uh, there is another cloud giant um, attending to two small cloud giants. Uh, and they um, they see Countess Sensory's rough shape, and the two children walk up and are like, Mom, Mom, are you okay? Um, and she just sort of like uh, rubs their head and tells them to go back um, to their uncle. Um, and you guys proceed up the highest spire. Um, and once you guys get in there, uh, she will um, cast Liaman's secret chest. And uh, a chest will reappear in the corner of her room. And she will pull out, reach in, and pull out a good-sized conch. Because um, it's, you know, it's a hand size for um, for a giant. Yeah, it's a so gi- it's, giant conch. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty gigantic conch for you guys. Massive conch. Massive. The giant horse conch weighs over 11 pounds. <laughs> Ugh. You got what you came after. Now leave. Pleasure, pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. Yeah. Can't say the same, but leave. I mean, you made it difficult. And I'll just start walking. And I'll just, like, lean over to, like, Seth and Stubbs and be like, Do you guys have a way down? Nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can... I could slowly lower us. I don't know if we have the time. As far as like, I mean, we can jump and I can teleport us at the last second. I don't like that one idea. Of us, one of us. I, I'm actually unable to get back down. No, everyone's always able to get back down. It's just you might not be able to survive getting, getting back down. Getting down alive! That's, that's the heart. Yeah, that's yes, like yes, tricky. yes. Um... In all seriousness, how are you guys coming down? Um, if I have a question about for me, like if I, oh, yeah, I can get me down. Well, you've got the spell refueling thing, right? No, Seth, from Seth, Seth, they have the spell okay. is, it a t- is it a tuned item, or can he hand it to Seth or It stuff? is an attuned item. Oh, cowboy, dude. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check real fast. Uh, also, Malrakis, don't know why, but over the course of the next few days, while you're just resting, you find out five of your ball bearings are missing. Half of my ball bearings? Five. Oh, five? Five of your ball bearings are missing. You, won't even, you don't even know. <laughs> half notice. of your ball bearings! Half of your, half of, half of your balls are gone, Malrakis. <laughs> that was almost very sad. <laughs> oh, no, no, I only have 447 left. Well, after losing 447 in the first place. But yes, it does require attunement. Okay. Mm. Uh, there is a potion of rejuvenation that restores a number of response slot levels equal to your proficiency bonus. Wait, what was the question? You guys do have a rejuvenation potion that, when imbibed, restores a number of spell slot levels equal to your proficiency bonus. It, except with that's, Fira. The, that's with Fira. Oh, We've well, that's right. Like- Times. I keep forgetting. What's with Fira? The potion of rejuvenation. Oh. You know, all of the nice things to have. Yep. Sucks to suck, huh? No, she doesn't have a bow anymore, so... She definitely still has a bow. She doesn't have a fancy one. She has arrows, that's all that matters. Yeah. Hmm... <sighs> Well, if, uh... I mean... Dr- s- dropping us down is still sort of an option. Mm. So long as it doesn't take three hours. I mean, I can also very slowly lower people. I can, like I said, I mean, I can cover myself... Well, uh, if we spend an hour to get my boots back, if I can just take my boots back for a little bit of air, I could slowly lower everybody. That's true. I don't think they'll let us just hang out for an hour. Yeah. Uh, so probably not. Hey, does my friend Dirk fly? No, he does not. I mean, if it's our only option, then they're just going to have to live with, deal with it. Or they push us they- out. 
I was going to say, I could just cast the Tiny Hut, and then they can't do anything about it, but they definitely have magic, and they could just definitely dispel it. Um, I mean, really? Do it's something to the conch so that way if we they try to push us over, they can't get it back. I mean, if nothing else, we could always just use it. Alright, everyone just jump right. in the bag of holding. Um, what use bag of the holding? Conch? Yeah. Oh I yeah. Mean, we I have a bag of holding. I guess yeah. fun, funny enough, you guys could jump in the bag of holding. Someone just jumps and then breaks their fall the last second and dumps you all out, so you guys don't suffocate in there. Oh, <gasps> that's perfect. You guys get in. I'll take it down. I'm super fast in the winged boots. Isara will also volunteer because she can teleport 500 feet at a time. But she she understands if you want to turn it over to Aorna and just let Aorna zoom. Wait, how long does it take us to... How long do we have breath? I think it's like a minute. It's equal to some sort of con mod. Like, yeah, yeah, you can hold your breath a number of minutes um, uh, equal to your con modifier plus one. And how... F oh, how so I hold my breath for three minutes? Yeah, it's not realistic at all. It's so dumb. But it takes us like oh, ten minutes to fly. Reading. Breathing creatures inside the bag can survive up to a number of minutes equal to 10 divided by the number of creatures. So... After which they begin to suffocate. So you have, like, two minutes of air, and then holding your breath for two or three minutes. Oh, I'd have it down there within, like... Yeah, Aorna can move 150 feet okay. around. Yeah. And so, she can dimension door. Aorna right. can't, no. Oh, I thought, you, uh, I thought we were talking, sorry, I thought we were talking about the other one. But so, say so Aorna could theoretically get you guys down in like 30 seconds. Yeah. Isn't it okay. like a mile up in the air? Uh, yeah. yes. Oh, so yeah, yeah you're right. It's, I thought it was a thousand feet. It's a mile up. So, so. I thought two I minutes. I thought a thousand feet minutes. was a mile. So you guys will die. No, 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 you sweet summer child. 5,800. Oh, sorry, my brain. Five, okay. five, two eighty, I think, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Five tomatoes. So it would take roughly thirty-five rounds for a or not to get you down. So thirty-five, 35 times. Yes, die. Well, thirty-five rounds. No. that's only three minutes. No. Three and a half minutes. Yeah, you guys have enough air to survive that long. Well, no. wait a minute. Couldn't she just fall like most of the distance and then dimension door herself? For yeah, the last... falling is actually. No, no, no I don't have dimension door. No, but Isara could. Isara does. Does I you fall five hundred feet around? Uh, yeah. Either way, everyone would survive. DM, we do this. We bag okay. the holding fall. I don't. It, it is you, I you, fly yeah. down. Whatever way we decide on, <laughs> screw that. We do it. Oh, actually, Aorna cannot fall 500 rounds per minute because Aorna has slow fall. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't automatically really slow all the time. It just but, she takes less damage. Yeah, it doesn't. Is slow it just my, less damage? It's yeah. just less damage. It's not feather fall. It's not feather fall. I can use oh. my reaction when I fall to reduce any falling damage I take by an equal amount. Which I'm not really yeah, keen still on doing, great, but... because that would still kill me. Um, yeah, you would definitely just... Yeah, you'd be taking 500 d6 damage. But if there's like... I mean, technically... If there's it three does of cap you guys, damage. then... Yeah, but where's the fun know. of that? Yeah. It's more fun if they just splatter. Yes. They scatter across the... Also, the, 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 the idea of like, you fall a mile... And only take like sixty points of damage does not yeah. make sense. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of things in D &D that don't make sense, but yeah, I agree. It's supposed to be fantasy, dude. Sure, but still, there <laughs> comes a point. In the fantasy, fantasy, fantasy for a second. Well, it, it, but it's also harking back to to like uh, wuxia, which is a Chinese fantasy, which deals specifically with stuff that's slow falling and that sort of thing. So, okay. It still stands. Cause I can do anything for me. We can get our way down by jumping in a bag of holding. Yeah, uh, by some manner, you guys can make it down to the deck of the Arvon of the Tide just fine. Like ten minutes later, I show up. Yeah, battered, <laughs> eaten. You know, I guess Malarakis and Asara look pretty okay. 
but okay. everyone else is at least like a little over half or less. Very right. And I'll, as I climb out of the massive hold, bag of holding, I'll hold up the cock. Be like, look at my massive cock. Wow. wow. Eli laughs, Dirk face palms. <laughs> Real impressive. I mean, it didn't hold it by my waist, so I mean, it could have been worse. Yeah. Oh, most importantly, though, how's your little baby boy? Is he okay? Seth so is coughing up blood on the deck of a ship. <laughs> oh, poor, poor baby. Okay. Um, I'm going to kill you. I do think right, th right there is a good spot to take a break. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and take a small 15 minute break um, and be back um, at 30 after, 30 before, the 30 mark, whatever you want to look at. 30 mark. We're, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back. Okay. Hey, bye. Bye. Oh. Are, are we good? Meredith? Meredith, you're muted. Meredith? Meredith? Well. I guess we're done. Kicked <laughs> it for now. If people are still listening.
Wait, are we going? Are we live? What? We live. Brando's not here, so it's not even. It's 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 just me and JJ doing this bit. It's not even yeah, fun anymore. We're we're going to eventually kill that joke. <laughs> I'm gonna pee your pants. Um, I just wanted to know you guys. Uh, uh, so where we left off, the party successfully defeated uh, Countess Sansuri in uh, their duel. Du -du 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 duel. Um, and retrieved uh, Countess Sansuri's conch uh, teleportation. Uh, and have returned to the deck of the Arvon of the Tide. I don't know. Who, I don't know who that is. So your comment is irrelevant. It's the it's the character that says the the thing you just referenced. I don't so. know what Yu Gi Oh is. So, uh, <laughs> sure. You don't know. Okay. No, I I know what Yu Gi Oh is. Okay. I play Pot of Greed. <laughs> <laughs> Pot of greed and draw two additional cards. So, well, what, are you, what are you guys doing? We have this. We have the conch. Do, yeah. Do we use it now? I think we rest. Uh, first. I think you guys still owe half your bill. Yeah. I mean, we you should pay the bill. Back, so. Should pay the bill. Yeah, you brought our ship out here, though. Yeah, there was we half a, half up front, bill. half on return. We yeah, but if pay... we don't return... We should pay the bill, rest, and then we can go with the conch. Well, we can pay the bill after I we mean, leave. why don't we pay the bill before we leave? Now pay okay. the bill after we rest. Yeah, because we're not done yet, technically. They haven't finished rendering services. Yeah. Alright, sounds good. Let's do that. Oh, if I could get any sleep on a, on a So you guys can bed down to rest. Um, and a few of you, um, while you are resting, sort of bedding down for the evening, um, climbing into your, your, I guess, hammocks. There aren't really cots or beds down here, uh, so it's all just hammocks. Um... And so a few of you actually get messages in your head. The and I don't want to say them, so I'm going to leave it up to Meredith. Well, the first one's not here. Well, I guess he is right. here. Right. Uh, so. I can't change it on my computer, so I have to wait a second. I have to find it. Okay. Stubs, in your head you hear. Okay, I, I hope this works. Something big's happened in Althand. Make your way here with haste. He's thinking a response. Okay. This is real hard to do. Yeah, it's, who wants to do the Stubbs accent? Mm. Okay. okay. I feel like it'd be I. No. <laughs> I think it's more of a Yeah Okay, <laughs> <Aye. laughs> twenty three words left. Okay, I just we'll we'll fill the silence with uh us all doing our best stubs and Okay, wow. <laughs> he's gonna do twenty five oh. words of just wow. Wow. Is this Ayana? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. This Say it backwards. Thank you, dwarf grumbles in between. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. I. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'll rouse the troops. I'll rouse the troops. Wow. Wow. I almost died today. You have 15 words left. He's like, oh, what do I do? There's so few words. See you soon. <laughs> have the conch. Just intentionally cut off mid-word. Words for the conch. Okay, yeah, the, we have the conch. You got 16 words. You got 9 left if you would care to use them. 
Boobop Jibbity Dow. You pooping? You pooping? You pooping? Do, 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 do. You pooping? Pooping has forever changed Donuts. the sending spell. Donuts. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Are you gonna do the the response, Ash? What response? The whole response. Just in one piece, not just a little by little. Oh, in one piece. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I. Wow. I'll rouse the troops. I almost died today. See you soon. We have the conch. 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 <laughs> That's how he spends the 25 words. He's like... You're going to love you by it, because the last 10 words are conch. 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 No. Conk. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Brando. It felt like something... Toby? Uh, Snip? Toby? Just a little bit. But... It's like when you can't okay, decide. I will, I I will a little admit, bit of creativity, I, creativity with that. I smelled Baxter's toe beans again, and I, I kind of see it. I told you. I, they I, smell I, like Fritos. I get it. <laughs> I don't I, like. I'm I mean, not gonna I say like they smell exclusively smell. like Fritos, but like, I get it. Okay, all right. I'm glad that you're you're coming around. All right. Uh, with that, I would kind of wait a few minutes, and Stubbs would, I'm assuming, rouse everyone like he said. Stubbs, would you be doing that now, or like wait till morning? Okay. Morning. He's morning. Okay. Uh, okay, well then, Malarakis, in your head, you would hear, ah. Your old friend Volk was here. I have something that might be of interest to you. Ah, uh, always keeping secrets still. I love that bit. My favorite bit about you. No response. And we did all this work with giants. Okay. Anything else? No response with that one. Okay. All right. Well, you all can long rest, um, re refill your hit points, um, and everyone does level up to 12. Oh, hell Ooh. yeah. Do I get to 13 for almost dying? No. <laughs> no, you actually don't level up because you almost died. Yeah. Nope. That's not how that you works. You lose a level, no, actually. It's, 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 like, it's like Gerard. Because you went to zero, you don't get to wield the Sword of Zerial. Wait, so are we leveling up right now? Um, we will save it until the end of the session, because I don't think anything really pertinent is going to happen between here and the end of the session. Okay. Um, but what if I get some cool yay. feats that are... Okay, I then, le we'll then level up quickly. I'm not going to worry about it. But we're we're going to level up right now. We're going we're gonna to keep advancing while we continue, so do it fast if you're going to do it. Yeah, She's yeah. a monk. It'll be fast. Yeah, you don't really get oh, any options. Um, I do have some stuff to do amongst you guys, but I have to run upstairs and do something just real quick. I'll be right back. Just taste Bye. on yourself. So you guys wake up, Calico's just like sitting there. Calico has slit all of your throats, and you woke up dead. Wow. I just hey. wanted to wake up dead. Yeah, at least that was not my problem anymore. <laughs> Welcome on bright side. Morning. Real, real quick, is there a... F Morning. Mm. Never mind. Is there a problem, officer? Just wanted to see, make sure you guys, you know, slept well. Got you the money? Got us our money. Get some breakfast. Yeah. Give oh, Dark yeah. his money. You heard, you heard the fairy, Seth. Pay him. Why do I have to... I don't have anything. Because you have the money. You have all the money. Since when do I have all the money? Since you took the bag. Since I took the bag. You took the bag that Fira left of money. Hey. And everybody else's money was in the bag of holding. Hey. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Actually, I'm you back. guys all still have... Yeah, you have 
like I have tons. my personal money too. Yeah. Like uh, I thought all that was in the bag because no. we couldn't divide it equally because it was we, too heavy. No, we divided everything that you could possibly carry was on you guys. Anything yeah. excess was in the bag of holding. And from uh, that money, Fiera left you 500 platinum. Oh, so you guys still have all just, of your individual money. Yeah, I thought we couldn't carry our individual money. No, we put uh, mostly gold pieces in the bag of holding. And from like the stash, you she left you her any platinum. Of that money yet right i think stubs did but like everyone was keeping track of their own stuff i think, I think you guys spent a chunk of the platinum to pay these people up oh front. that you, yeah. pay, you paid the 500 up front and then there's five there's 500 on return and you guys did yeah. uh and you guys did some shopping before you came out 500 gold right or is it yes. 500 yeah okay i'll just pay for the gold then because i do have fat on well i, I just don't know where we wrote i i, I don't have the gold written down. Um, I have the gold written down. Okay. But oh, I just... We... I just added it to my character amount and remembered that I would... that it was it most... Me. that it was a I lot that I wasn't win. We said we were going to pay 500 gold pieces for the boat ride. I and, paid I, oh, and I took that out of the platinum. Okay, take that out of the platinum as the, the next 500 out of the platinum as well. Alright. Which is 50 platinum? Yes. yes. Okay. Divide by 10. I was just making sure. All right, so I just took that out. But wait, so like the next morning, we would still be like on the ocean seas at this point, right? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so wake up and... Ah! And I start like knocking with mage hand and just uh, like everywhere next to everyone's heads and try to start waking people up. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I just got to the point where I wasn't sick anymore. Hmm. I've got some important news. But... Okay, then out with it. Uh, okay, DM, what's the name of the city again? Altand. Altand. Okay. Uh, Ayana, she... Er, Ayana. <laughs> oh, <wrong laughs> uh, Fiera. His name is... <laughs> Biera, she she just got a hold of me. She's in alt hand, and she's she's needing help. What? Hey, um, uh, uh, I guess we go to alt hand. And yes, yes, I. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I. <laughs> Let's hurry and run, or wait, wait till this on, boat on a lands boat. and run. However, or we teleport to water. Why don't we just teleport? Can I do a teleport on the boat deck and it's all okay? Yeah. Okay, you teleport have the ship with you. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. If oh. you put the mast in the middle of it, you could take the mast with us. Oh, and then we could take the we could take the the cursed uh, trident. Exactly. Sure. Take, right take, the, take, take the cursed trident, guys. Do it! Bad. <laughs> it's not uh, even the DM happens. saying it. It's it's illegitimately Dirk. Yeah, yeah. It's just Dirk at the cap stain. Like, do it, guys! Sure I dare happens. you. Yeah. Um. We paid him, right? So I hand Dirk fifty platinum. I'm like, ah, thank you for the trip. And then, and then I start trying to write teleportation somewhere that seems appropriate on the deck of a ship. It just seems so wrong. It's just chalk. It's not like you're carving into it. Yeah, it's just chalks and stuff. Okay. Uh, but, wait, hold on. I gotta take that out of my... Uh... Well, oh, also, when you guys do awake, the castle is gone. Big surprise. Yeah, movable castle. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then what I had to have um, I can I prepare my spells in the morning, right? You prepare them when you wake up. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I would have prepared said thing. Oh, I even already had it prepared, so that was easy enough. That was easy. It's pretty neat. Or eh, eh. All right. So taking one of those away. Boop. All right. 
We're in Waterdeep. Right? Yeah. That yeah, Waterdeep. Drop, drop you much closer to all than the Neverwinter. Yeah, totally. We're in Waterdeep. <laughs> Okay, so we change that stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Where's the there? There it is. I couldn't find the noise, but it sounds. So you guys can return to Waterdeep. Um, you guys appear in the um, the crypt again um, with uh, Myrna and her shield guardian, um, and they, you know, say hi. Shocked to see you because nobody warned them. Uh, Sorry about that. And uh, usher you out of the crypt. And then you come out of the crypt into the city of the dead, which is the very large graveyard in a section of water deep. Um, and I'm presuming you head into water deep proper. You head into water deep proper. Yes. You, want me to, you want me to smite you? Wait, what happened? <laughs> Zach says good night, everybody. Good night, oh, good night Zach. Good night, good night, Zach. Okay. What do you guys do? Do we have any more information besides she's an alt hand and needs help? Vork's apparently nearby. Do you have any more information for me besides the fact that you're an alt hand and you need help? Who's Vork? Old friend of mine. I don't exactly know how this spell works yet. Can anyone else hear us or is it just us? I just want to make sure it's secure. Just us! And you're wasting my spells! Um... With the limits, it's probably easier to speak in person. However, Glassstaff is here. From Danthar. Vork. Lots of... danger. I haven't been keeping track of words. You probably hit the limit on one of your setting spells. Yeah. I just... Yeah. <laughs> Lots of... So, what'd she say? You got that look on your face. Uh, I actually don't know what that look on He gets on your that face. face when he's trying to pass gas. Uh, oh, we're better now. Um, Told you. Something along the lines of how does you how do you know this, Yasara? I can read minds, remember? Oh right. So whenever he makes that face, the alleged thought in his head is <gasps> Wait, what did she say about Daggerford? She did Nothing about Daggerford. Mm. Alright. Um it looks like my buddy that gave me this staff is there. Oh, so it'll be a fun reunion. Vork's friend, uh, Vork, no, Mal's not, friend. Not Buddy. No. Not it's, Buddy? Uh, yeah, it, that's. Uh, buddy's lightly used here. Your old pal, you know? Yeah, it's like a more I, natural enemy. No, than... I don't know. It's more. If you don't know how guy. to get a hint of sarcasm, then you're not going to work out in this group. She did also ask me if I had any recollection, uh, like, in my time imprisoned with Glassstaff, if I had heard, if he had said anything about a decayed hand. Decayed hand? I have no idea what that could mean. Wait, who said that? This Fira. The, um... Is this what her. I think it is? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think it is? What, what does what Seth, does think, Seth it think it is? Yeah. Well, well, JJ knows. I think. Well, JJ thinks it's the hand of Vecna, but I don't know, JJ. Is it the hand of Vecna? I don't know, Austin. 
Well, I was asking JJ, not you. Oh. Is it the hand of Echo? What, what, why would I know? I'm asking the D- What? You don't know. <laughs> DM, would I have any idea about a decayed hand and weird Make a history myth? check. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Give me that history. Flash a genius. Um, I mean... Not really. Could be a spell component. Hmm. Yeah, it's not even with a twenty. Be yeah, a nineteen. Not 19, a twenty. Sorry. I'm not that smart. I thought it was a six. Maybe. Plus five. I guess we're heading to old hands. So, are you guys commissioning any kind of mounts, or are you just walking? Uh, how far is it? Um, it will take you roughly um nine days by foot to get all hand. It would be like it would be about a ten day. Give or take. Ten day. It would probably be like five day if it's. Is it like twice as much? Um, I would say it would probably knock it down to about seven or eight, from from ten to get tall pan. On on horseback, because you can't really push the horses super hard, or you right. end up killing the horses. So our track record, uh, not. I would great say you you anymore. could push them the whole distance, and that would cut it in half. Yes. But that is potentially exhausting and potentially killing the horse. Well, group, what do you want to do? I'm always ready for a good walk, but I don't know. I mean, I'm perfectly content walking. We have the conch, and that's not going anywhere. It weighs 11 pounds, for crying out loud. It's in my bag of holding. <laughs> Sure, but it's still eleven pounds. Giant horse conk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> happening. Wait, what? Okay, so what's so, the vote? I guess we're walking. Okay. Oh, uh, in fact, the the giant horse conk actually weighs twenty pounds. Oh, oh even you better. Google that. No, I'm I'm looking at the. Conk of teleportation magic item. Oh, so it's bigger than a horse conk. The conk <gasps> measures two and a half feet long and weighs twenty pounds. Oh my gosh! That's a huge conk. It's a, it's a giant it's a, horse it's a, conk. It's a trumpet. It was that big. It's effectively a heavier trumpet. Twenty pound conk. Man, that's a lot of conk. Check out the size pounds. of his conk. It's two and a half feet and twenty pounds. It's too much conk for one person to handle, that's for sure. It's way too much I'm conk seeing, for me. I'm just seeing a lot of conk meat when I search for 20 pound conk. <laughs> okay, let's move on! Before I go Yikes. crazy. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. Uh. No. Okay. No, you don't want us to move on from no, the- No, I don't want you to be searching conch meat. <laughs> I wasn't searching conch meat! I searched- Just be sure your safe search is on. It was, it or was not. Like, it was Or not. Or not if you want a fun time. It was meat to eat. It's basically yeah, it was. like- Shut the fuck up. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So, um, Brando, are you here? Correct. Roll me a d20. What? Give me a d20. Well, that was exciting. Vecna himself yep. swoops down. Yep. Tiamat shows up. Sorry, guys. Heck yeah. I, hand. I killed you once, I'll kill you again. I mean, Joshua killed her last time. Well, JJ killed him. Seth flexes and turns into Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> 
a level 20 I strike. He's, he's actually Moon Knight and just playing uh, just someone with uh, multiple personalities. And he's yeah. secretly been an old guy this whole time. <laughs> oh, baby boy. Guy. He's actually 40. <laughs> I'm 75. Who was Joshua? Uh, like in his 40s, yeah. I think he was like early 40s, late 30s. And then he yeah. just stopped aging because he got yeah, high enough level. Monk. Just well, I mean, he still monk. ages, he just doesn't get any negative effect from oh, being that's old. that's right, he doesn't get frail. Like, he could be 70 and just jacked. And then one day he's just like, ah, well... Guess I'll die. <laughs> Guess I'll okay. die then. You guys can get... Here. Meow. Roll me three more d20s. Just any of you. I do one. I'll Could do one. one. I got one. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay. Six, fifteen. And you 16. said any of you. You're right. I did. I, I did. You are. Wow, that is a lot of bling on King Boomy. Jeez. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Let us leaf. Let us leaf. Okay. So you guys can eventually, um, you sort of continue down the. I believe this is the trade way. Um, it is indeed. And eventually, uh, sort of just looking at your map and general geographical figure uh, features, um, turn east towards what you would assume is the misty forest. So now, who is leading the trek? Oh, yeah, we lost our ranger. Because uh, guess what? You guys can get lost. Um, okay. Who's got the highest wisdom? You. Probably, probably you, monk. Probably you, yep. Sick. Was my 16? Oh, yeah. Okay. I am not the wisest of the group. Oh, no. Well, Stubbs leads with his 8. <laughs> <laughs> Stubbs could lead okay. uh, if he just used... A uh, bear. All right. Navigate well, us through the forest. That's true. It's not. It's not Neverwinter Wood, and you know. Okay. Here I go. Okay. Roll a survival check. No, that was the exact opposite of what we wanted right now. It's a great start. Uh, you start walking towards the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> that way, if you walk oh. into a grove of trees, and you're like, "Yeah, this is the but wait." That's the ocean. Yeah, you you guys go into the misty forest and walk around for about an hour or so until eventually you walk back out into just the open prairie. Damn it. Okay. This right. time. This time will work, I promise. Yep. Hey Brando. Oh, what? In your head you hear. Are you guys coming? Wait, so Brando heard that or Stubbs did? Brando hears it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Brando, are you hearing voices in your head? I mean, we all kind of are. Okay. I mean, this I'm, time. I'm staring at just this screen of lights and it keeps talking to me. Okay, this time. Dude. It'll work. This time. Hey! There we go. Okay. You can successfully track further into the Misty Forest. Um. One second. Sorry, guys. Just sometimes when I switch seasons, I kind of forget that left is left and right is right. And so I think that's what threw me off a little bit. Sorry, right, trying to te technical difficulties. Nah, it's all right, Aorna. Mistakes happen. Mm. Yeah, not not really. Like it was kind of a mistake that we didn't foresee that that a uh, cloud giant lady would actually think of us as loose ends. So. Everyone okay. makes mistakes. So eventually, you guys are tracking further into the Misty Forest, and um, 
you're sort of just creeping along, and then you hear some twigs snapping off the path. What was that? I... Throw a dart! Okay, roll an attack with disadvantage. Love it. It's gonna be some, like, cute baby animal. It's just, just it. you throw a dart and it just... You hear no impact. Sorry. Uh, I guess... Until eventually, out of the bush, waddles this um, very um, large owl bear. Very familiar looking. Oh. So it comes mm. oh. uh. Winnie? Mm. <gasps> oh, Winnie, you're okay! And she just runs over and hugs Winnie. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need me to... I'm sorry I left you behind. It was awful. I'm so glad you're okay. Winnie looks so confused and is like looking at the rest of you like, help me, please. Uh, can can hey, you take us to her, Winnie? Winnie? Yeah. Mm. He nods his head and sort of turns around and starts walking back into the forest. Okay. Oh, yeah. After After a few more hours, you guys do eventually come to... Um, a city. One second, I have music for this. Music. Um, you guys do eventually um, come to what appears to be an elven settlement. Um, after about a certain amount of time, you guys can start to see just little wooden huts um, uh, sticking out from there and there. And there are some small families um, who like look out the window and see you guys. Um, a few parents that uh, hush their kids back inside. You look up and there are Balconies built into the trees um, as they uh, as there are guards up there and they look down and see you um, and they see the owl bear and let you pass um, until eventually you come to a what appears to be somewhat of a town square um, with uh, which seems to be absolutely trashed. Um, there are um, you know. Yeah, there aren't any bodies, but there are piles of blood, like just red stains in the green grass. Um, there appears to be a statue that has been destroyed um, in the center of the uh, town square, um, as well as um, a young elf? Question um, mark. You can't really tell how old she is because she's age an elf. Weird. Yeah, age is weird. Uh, who appears to be talking with a. Uh, Another wood elf. These are both wood elves. Um, one of the wood elves, uh, the ma the male she is talking to, is clad in silver scale mail and has a sword at his side. Um, and standing next to him is Fira. Fira! Oh, you guys made it! No, kind of. It's good to see you safe. You too. Um... Uh yeah, sorry. We came just about as fast as we could. What's up? As you can see, um, old hands seen better days. Didn't look like yeah. this when I got here, what, probably five days ago? Uh, yeah, it would be It would be about um, ten or so days ago. Okay. Mm. It didn't look like it took, this. it took them about ten days to get here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, uh, I... Th I think we should go inside and speak a little more. Talk. Right. Yeah. yeah. Are these your friends? Yeah, these are the ones I was telling you about. Hello? Yeah. He'll, he'll sort of hold out his hand to shake someone's hand. He doesn't know exactly who shake, to shake. I will okay. sh shake his hand. Uh, Seth. Holt. Um, I agree. We should We should take this inside. Um, and oh. so he will sort of lead you to the uh, what appears to be the town hall um, with the female falling close behind, and he will introduce uh, the female as Adriana. Adriana is his younger sister. Um, he more specifically introduces her as Queen Adriana. Um, and so they will um, go inside. 
and sort of turn left from the big old throne room um, into just a um, side room. So it's uh, fortuitous that you all could come here fast. Uh, Fear tells me here that you all are a competent group and uh, are able to do great things. Well, we try. I will say, everyone roll a history check. Yeah, please. That's not supposed to be a disadvantage, but whatever. You're be kidding is. me. Can I not? No. <laughs> JJ. I, I don't know. I have plus 10 to all these things. Roll another one. Friggin oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, well luckily it's it's recent events. So, unfortunately Stubbs rolled a natural one. So, Seth. I've been in a monastery. Yeah, you've been in a monastery. <laughs> um, but it is recent events. Um, you uh, you have heard of a Kolth, um, Seth. Kolth, uh, the, the name floating around Kolth, was one of the people who helped quell the dragon menace Wait. going on. Wait, Kolth, Kolth, Kolth? Like, dragon killing Kolth? You having a stroke, Seth? Uh, sorry, I just kind of put two of them together. Uh... Into a Pokemon. Oh, oh, go! I, I'm sorry. I just realized. Uh, are you that Kolf? I would assume so. I am the only Kolf I know. So yes? Question mark. Not a common name. Yeah. It's not like Brittany. Uh, oh. Or like Re Rebecca or something like that. Yeah. Uh. Or Seth. Wait. Who names their kid Seth, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, or, I understand. Or, or, you know, <laughs> but, uh... Or Arthur. Jeez. You, you're one of the ones that took care of all the dragon problems, right? I wouldn't say took care of. Not all of them. Unfortunately. Well, uh, okay. Uh, if but like there was, explain. like, an apocalypse, and now there's... It we did, we did stop Tiamat's avatar form, yes, but it was not just me alone. I would not have right. been able to do it without my friends. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, anyway. Anyways, Fira, if you, you may, go ahead. Um, okay, so obviously came here for some soul searching. Uh, meditated the words for a couple of days until things got real weird here. Uh, there was a lot of screaming, and so ran back. People were running and hiding, and um, from Tantha was here. And uh, there were a ton of cultists. They, they all had these, and I'll reach into my bag of holding um, and lay a gun on the table and slide it across to, to Malarakis. Uh, all of you can easily recognize that this looks very much like the same make and model thing that Vork was carrying when he attacked you, when he and Glassstaff attacked you in the mountain pass. These things are not nice. What the is heck it, is that? Is it a rifle or is it it's a, a pistol? It's a pistol. And take it and hold it. Is it some sort of club? No. Uh, imagine it backwards club. Imagine it. Sh it, it a ball bearing flying at you at unknowable speeds. <laughs> it, yeah, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna a, look around a on it. A ball bearing more. flying at me at fast speeds. Alright, roll, roll an like investigation fire. check. I could probably oh, catch un, it. Unknowable speeds. Like, I didn't even see it. Okay. There, there isn't necessarily like a watermark per se um but this is definitely not made of a metal that you have forged with is it very reminiscent to the arms and legs of Taurus? yes yeah i'll kind of look it over and go well, this is probably fork and turnazan's doing well he was here uh, uh, 
But bless you. What did you say? Fork? So it. The blonde you... one? Yeah. yeah. You'd streamed it together so quick that it sounded like you were saying someone else's name, and so I was. No, I think really... that's his last name. Is it? Yeah. Well, it's, not... it's not his last name, but it is his friend's name. A friend meaning the one you've mentioned. The one hunting me? Yes. Lovely. You guys have so many friends that aren't friends. Yeah. We, uh, Those are the job. Well, to the we friendly fires. Get it. Friends. We use the word friends. Is it because you're called the friendly fires that they're friends that aren't friends? Like mm. you shot them one too many times in the back? No. No. To be fair, he shot me first. He got lost in Avernus. Can I roll a history check for Avernus? <laughs> See if I know what the... Sure. Okay. Okay. I mean, you, you, you have heard of the events of Descent into Avernus, yes. Okay. It was oh. 15 years ago, so it's definitely spread around the Sword Coast by now. Well, you never know. Monasteries can be really behind the times, but okay. Uh, oh. Jeez, you were in that? That's obviously not something I like to talk about often. Hmm. So, what, Vork made a deal with this who's a what's it um, that helped him make this? Yes, but no. It's... He's always been making these things, so I don't think Turner Zan really like, taught him how to, but I think he helped him perfect the idea. Was it really successful before Turnazan helped him out? Not really. Yeah. I mean, they fire, but they had terrible range or horrible accuracy. It was still more viable to use a crossbow. Yeah. No. I'm confused. Why would Turnazan be going after you if he made the deal with Vork? Mm, kind of took something of his. Oh. What'd you take? To kind of look up at Colth and just kind of look back and go, not, not the ideal place for it. Okay. Later. I, I understand. Then I will kind of look up at both Colth and Fear and be like, do you mind if I keep this? I got it for you. I have no use for it. Fantastic. So, this Ferdinand guy, Ferdinand, for Brundanthar. Brundanthar, yeah. yeah. Who's that? Dragon. Dragon. Killed our friend. Black dragon. That, yes, was. The, the friend that's actually a friend? Yes. Killed okay. our old teammate. And, and, and my dad. Oh. And your dad. My condolences. He's just a dad killer. Oh, unintentional, but you're right. <laughs> he's, he's a dad killer. Flat armor. He won't kill a any of us. Killer. None of us are dads. The orphan maker. The orphan maker. <laughs> I, I just love the idea of us going up to Frumdanthar and being like, You killed our father. And be like, You know how little that narrows it down. Yeah. <laughs> you know how little that narrows it down. I've killed so many people's fathers. It's I exclusively kill fathers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of my calling card. It's Stuff like, hey, do you have kids? Named... Like, nope. Can't kill you, sorry. I, we <laughs> haven't sir. finished the story. I was just letting you guys kind of uh, process. Okay. Just... Okay. Well, um... Don't really know a gentler way to ease into this other than uh from Dantha, Glastaff, one and the same. Uh he uh. he just kind of uh transformed right in front of Orc and 
then had people chop off his hand and replaced it with one that Colth had. Um, wait, and- what? Wait, wait, say that again? I'm really confused. I, I don't know. I asked Isara about it, and she doesn't know either. Um, colth has been rather tight-lipped about it. So you were just carrying around this, like, rotting hand, Colth? And it fused. Complicated. Something I'd rather not talk about. To be fair, okay. we've told you all of our stuff. And, well, well, Incorrect. Your friend just, just said this is not the place to talk about it. And I'm going to stand by that, but how did it get out of... Where were you keeping it that it managed to slip out? I gave it to him. He didn't have a choice. Well, uh, if he didn't, he would, have de- he would have destroyed all hands. With everyone in it. Okay, okay, that's fair. Um, I'm still a little confused on what it is, but I'm yes. assuming very bad that he has it. I don't know anything that's able to just fuse to body and be good. So, let's assume bad. Uh, and then he grabbed Fork by the face and, no, I believe by the neck and just, they just poofed out of there. I thought, I, I'm going to stay silent. I'm not going to say. My brain um, went on a weird tangent. Now so. you're caught up. So we have no idea where he went. Uh, presumably he only came here for the hand. He hasn't been back. And then Why he grabbed Vork. He grabbed Vork by the neck. Oh yeah, made him look like a little child. Just waving him around. And then gone. Probably more like a minion situation, I would assume. Tornazan said he was easy to win over. Indentured servitude. And if Glassstaff Blackmail. made some kind of deal with Tornazan as well. Perhaps. But he doesn't strike me as the type to serve anyone other than himself. Nice. Wizards like that tend to have contingency plans. Ability to avoid their inevitable fate. Or attempt to. Oh. Either way, we're just kind of left at a... Well, they have it. They're not here anymore. I wish there was better news. Is there a way to track the hand? I haven't been able to find him at all. Hmm. Which means he's not on he's either resistant to my sight or not on this plane. Or what dead, but you, I doubt that he's dead. What method have you used? Brian? Brian? Well, considering Vork now likes to hang out in the Nine Hells, it's a good guess where it might be. If not some other plane that yeah, class stuff likes to hang out in. Existence. Hmm. Uh, so this is a... Uh... How did he kill your friend? His father? So, or our friend what? that died. The friend that died. How did he kill your friend? Dragged him under the uh, water. And, and disappeared. Yeah. Disappeared like he disappeared like, here. 
he disappeared. We couldn't find him. We looked everywhere. We couldn't see anything. This is gonna sound morbid, but do you think maybe he ha still has that body in the same plane as him? As wherever he went? Maybe. Uh, I don't... I don't see why he would, but maybe... I mean, he might be it's using it as a servant. Is there some way to track that sort of thing across planes? Well, I mean, I, I think it would be the same way of magic more powerful than what I've, what most of us probably have. Yeah. But uh, it'd at least be easier than trying to track someone who's actively trying to avoid you. I mean, that's still probably about the same difficulty. Yeah. Uh, both planar and scrying magic, that's gonna be tough, tough to work with. Yeah. I don't I don't mean to sound rude here, but I'm can I don't see how we can help if there's no way to find him. I don't I think it's, it's something that needs to be solved right now. I just wanted you guys to know what's been happening here. And I felt yeah. the pull to the west stop, so I'm assuming you guys have been busy as well. Yeah. yeah. There we, have. we got what we were looking for. Good. Um, we can use it and proceed, you know, to our destination if we wish, but should we help here? for a bit, or... Um, I know where we can. That is up to you. Um, unnecessary, but will not go unappreciated. We've been doing what we can for a week and a half now. This place has been through a lot with the Dragon Menace, but... And it appears that me being here has simply put it in more danger, so I will be leaving soon. But I have other friends to get in contact with. The other helpers of... Yes. Gotcha. Well... Is one of them that tiefling lass? Valkyria, yes. Yeah, she has a creepy ass wax statue in Water Deep. Really noted. I will. Which one shook the flower? We keep hearing about this flower thing, and it's really confusing. That would have been Arthur. And what was. What happened after that? I never get to but, hear the end of it. You know, honestly, I don't remember. It's all a blur. Hmm. That was the most uh, anti All right, she threatened my life. Yeah, that was she... fun. Well, that's not a good wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. It's really not. Arthur's a she? As far as Who I know. Who names their daughter Arthur? That's weird. Okay. I don't know. It's a good question. I think it's a stupid name, but, you know, who am I to judge? Are yeah, we really no. discussing names? Listen. I mean, arguably, every name is stupid. Just. What what should we do, group? Well, you are free to stay and help if you wish, or you are free to go about your business. Um, it is up to you. <sighs> and I'm all I mean, for it, just moving on. I mean, yeah, if this but... place has been dealing with it for a while, there's not much more we're going to be able to add to it. Sooner other than just more mouths to feed. Yeah. Understandable. Well, in that case, I bid you luck. I presume that you are adventurers by the way that you are dressed. So on whatever mission you're on, good luck. Before you go, Same to you. keep in touch. Do my best. I'll pull out uh, the nasty trophy from the animal I killed and hold oh. it out to him. Oh, 
He'll take it in like his index and thumb and just like hold it. Thanks. Should make it easier to keep in touch. Do you have anything that we can keep in touch with? I mean, we know is we know who he is now. Sending. That is true. Sending does not require you to have something of me. But still. Makes it easier. Um, I don't have anything to really give. No. Apologies. He says this while still holding it in yeah. like pinched between his index and thumb and is just like kind of waving it around. And then he'll just sort of like gently tuck it in his belt. Like maybe like some strands of hair. Why do we need to that, steal that stuff from this man? What, why do you need stuff of me? This is, I thought, doesn't it just make it easier to contact people? I don't know, Stubbs, you know these things better than I do. We don't. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think we need, for the sending spell at least, I don't think that's required. No, but I've been watching him do the other things. Oops, and you have, yeah, you have your items laid out. None of us know how to scry. Dan, you don't necessarily him. need them, it's just nice to have. Do you learn how to scry? I could try. While. Um, I think he said no, we should just leave it be. No means yeah. no. That's fine. I, I, I apologize, I have a thing with people tracking me, so... I don't exactly do the... Here's a thing from me thing. That's fair. I mean, yeah, he did just straight up admit that, like, there's a problem that just happened, and it's possibly because of him. So, <laughs> bad things follow him. I'm trying to minimize the amount of people that I know are tracking me, or could track me. That's fair. All right, well, cool. you have a way to keep an eye on us if you need to. Indeed. Well, all right. Good all luck, right. I guess. Let's not make this any more awkward than it already is. Let's blow that car. Okay, Are we not going after the fire giants? What for? That was just the plan when I last saw, last saw you guys. If we want I mean, to we got the car to the eye of the All Father to figure out where they are. We are being pulled in both directions. We knew where they were. No, we were only being pulled in no, one. No, you were only being pulled yeah, in we one. Only chose one. Yeah, because we chose one option. We chose yeah. we left. had options. You said we were feeling pulls in both directions. We just chose to go out towards one. No, it was only ever the one. Okay. Yeah, we had the choice of taking either, but we could only yeah. pick one. And he just gave us a brief description of where they were. Yeah, which... I, the father told you... Fire gems are somewhere cold underground. Uh, travel east or mountains and snow to distant spires. There on a cold mountain side, you'll find a village of yak folk. And below that, iron slag, the forge of the fire giant duke. The conch you seek is in his quarters. But we only really... Like, does it make... Do we get any additional political weight for having a conch? The... the well, I mean, the snow giant... I was or the, the way the that I understood giant. it is sorry. That it, sorry, the way that I understood it was that the the goal is just to get a conch to get in contact with the Storm King. That was that was all I gained from that. Yeah, I mean, with how the uh, Cloud Giant relationship went. I doubt the uh I doubt the fire giants will be more agreeable at all. So I, f I figure they're probably not gonna want to help us either. Doubtful. So most likely just gonna be more of the same. I think we're good. Yeah. 
As I would just move on. Got to blow that conch. Alrighty. You coming along this time, Fira? Sure. Man. She said yes. Let me use it. Okay. You blow through the conch, and nothing happens. Are you attuned to the conch? No one's no. attuned. I, I don't believe you identified it. Oh boy. No, no. Yes, Seth, you should identify this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so casting identify. Casting identify. It does require attunement. And as an action, you can cast the teleport spell by blowing into the shell. The destination is fixed, and there is no chance of either a mishap or the spell being off target. In fact, actually, I have this in roll 20. Why am I reading out? Conk of teleportation. Mm. Wow. Uh... Cool. So someone needs to attune to it. I'll uh, attune to it. I right. have the extra slot anyways. Okay. Well, I, I have plenty. I only have like three things that I'm attuned to. That's all of your attunement slots. Yep. Oh, okay. You can only be attuned to three items. Okay. So Alright. I will attune to this and this unattuned to my cloak of displacement. Okay. Well, wait. Do I need to be attuned to the spear plus two? No. 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 Then I'm only uh, attuned to two things. Oh. Then here, you're gonna attune to it. Alright. Just gonna hold on to this 20 pound conch. It's massive conch. Alright. After, after touching the massive conch for about an hour, and feeling a connection deeply with the conch. Um, you can blow on the conch um, <laughs> real good and cast the teleport spell to teleport to Maelstrom. Maelstrom. Give me one quick sec. Boy. Wait, why is, why is water? Because... You are deep under the ocean. Eh! Um, Is this the city that Dirk was talking about? Maybe. Give me a second. Yeah, so you guys sort of appear... Second. Hurt. Hurt? Hurt! You guys sort of feel this pulling sensation. And you are being pulled and pulled and pulled, and I forgot to put fear on the map. Fear. Oh my gosh, fear is big. Why is fear so big? Okay. Fear is large. Um, and when you appear, you seem to be in a uh, you know, sort of a, a room made of um, purple stone. Um, and oh, you can... do we bring? Yes, Sorry, do I'm, we bring? I'm, okay. I'm getting Winnie. Um, and um, as you as you appear, um, you can hear sort of the uh, the dull um, movement or pressure of water above you, um, and you also hear. I have no definitive box deck, so I gotta read. Sorry. Do we? Is it dim light in here? Uh, no, it is well lit in here. Dang it! Why can't anything be dim? Because this is a place where people live. Attention, um, I'll have dark vision. When, when you guys appear, um, you can hear music. There is a powerful female voice accompanied by the deep, haunting tones of a masterfully played pipe organ. Um, and it appears to be coming from up the staircase over here. <laughs> um, however... I think that that is a good place to call it for the evening. Alright. Cool. We can continue with 
um, your adventures in Maelstrom next week. Right? We are good to still play next week? As far as I know. Meredith, is that the session minus one? Okay. Okay. No, the next one's like June 10th. Yeah. June okay. 10th. Just making Before sure. So yeah, we'll be back next week um, with the party's um, journey through Maelstrom and uh, continuing on the path to fix the ordinate. And everyone be sure to level to 12 if you have not already. Oh, yes, thank you for reminding me. Uh, but in that case, we'll go ahead and call it the evening. So thank you everyone for coming. And uh, we'll catch you all next week. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Bye! Bye.